morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? It was hot, wasn't it? I really caught the sun yesterday. It's lovely sitting out in the garden. Hope everybody's uh, well, hope everybody's uh, okay. And we have got the most amazing show. Hannah, you know, you said to me on, what day was it that we were last together, the three of us? Can't, I don't know, I can't keep up with the days. Tuesday, it was the girls' day, wasn't it, on Tuesday? And uh, on Tuesday, you said that you had your favorite ever early bird. Today's my favourite ever earlier bird. I love it. It's something that is brand new. Now, the great thing about the early bird, we always start the show at 8 o'clock in the morning, set your alarms bright and early, the early bird catches the worm. You are going to get a brilliant price on lots of products, maybe some of your favourites, some of our favourites, some old, some new. This one is a new one. And what I love about this is that it is for everybody. Whether you are... Whether you are a brand new sewer, whether you're brand new to Sewing Street, or whether you are, um, a, you know, a professional sewer, this is so handy. You have got 167 items in here. There are so many, and do you know what I love? I love that it comes in this, it's like the real posh chocolate boxes where you get all of the lovely layers. Um, and it comes in a really lovely, very secure, very secure <laughs> storage box but look so it comes in all of these lovely layers with loads and loads of goodies i mean you get scissors in here you get marking tools in here you get elastic you get snaps you get needles for your machine you get loads of threads uh, you got your own pickers there's so much in here these are your bobbins you're getting, it says on the front, a comprehensive haberdashery set. There is so much in here, plus your storage box. How much do you pay for storage boxes? I think you're going to be over the moon with today's early bird special. It's 16 99 for the lot. You aren't, we're not just saying, right, this is how you can use the storage box. You're getting everything that you're seeing here included in that early bird special. It has never been on air before. It is brand new. New. Right, let's go through exactly what it is that you're getting in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read from the front. So let's go through. You get Velcro. There's your Velcro. Your Velcro with your adhesive. Uh, you also have your polyester yarn. So you've got six different colours in this gorgeous polyester yarn. So you've got black, brown, red, grey, yellow and white. You also have your scissors, which are really lovely, lovely scissors as well. Universal general use scissors. Uh, you've got your tape measure. Always handy. I'm always losing these and always handy to have. You've got your fasteners here as well. You've got your little snaps, which are lovely. So you get two sets of those. There's so much in here. Um, you get 167 things. So hang on, I might not show you them all um, as we go. Let me just read. So you then get 10 pieces sewing needle set. You then get 80 straight pins. You get all of your nice little pins. And that comes in a nice little dish with a pin cushion on the top. How nice is that? Sorry, I'm going to struggle to not show you everything, aren't I? <laughs> uh, there's 80 of those. Then you've also got a thimble. You've got 12 safety pins. You've got um, polyester yarn. You've got um, more uh, mi mi monofilament, which is like, let me show you, that's your monofilament. If I spend a minute on each of these items, that's over an hour, sorry. Okay, all right, Hannah, calm down. She's like, just so you know, if you're spending a minute, that's oh, nearly two hours. Just calm down. Your monofilament, you've got poly more polyester thread, you've got 16 bobbins, you've got, um, in fact, another 16 bobbins. You've got all of those there. And then you've also got 16 bobbins, 16 paper bobbins. There you go. And then even more. Um, <laughs> more and more and more. Uh, you also have a threader, a ripper, elastic, uh, tape fast fastener tape sewing needle set for your machines there's loads and look all of these nice little clips like a little bulldog clip your uh, thimble safety pins for 16.99 okay remember the price we had a little look this morning we had a look around there's prices uh, lots of different prices out there for this set but we found it for 29.99 that's a sewing bee sale, $29.99. It's in stock. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to pay post on that, but it's the same set, $29.99. This is why I think it's my favourite ever early bird. Because look, when you've used everything, 
from here or if you're picking bits out that you want to then take out into the garden to keep this set you can then keep this set for all your buttons or your beads or for to keep in all your threads and elastic it's just a really great storage set box isn't it it's the first time that we've ever had it and today it's with our saving of three pounds but remember our price is already going to be incredibly competitive at 19.99 isn't it we didn't need to take extra off i think if we had to launch this today if we'd have launched this today at nine o'clock and it was 1999 i think i'd still be saying exactly the same thing this is the crazy thing i don't know why we've launched this as an early bird but so it says on the front here professional sewing kit it's something for everybody but we started it as a starter kit. So if we know there's a lot of people who are starting out in the sewing world. And there's a lot of people who are joining us maybe for the first the first times, uh, the first time over the last couple of months. So it's really lovely to be able to offer you all the bits and bobs. We talk about different mar marking tools. You've got like your chalk pen here with a little brush eraser. And then that almost looks like your hair marker, doesn't it? Marking tool, how good is that? There are now less than 50 less than 50 of these less than 50 i keep finding more and more bits look you've got um your needle threader and extra hand sewing needles for 16.99 sorry i won't spend a minute on each what's that it's going to be a long morning isn't it me going through all of this um there's so many goodies to get on with. I'm really excited for you to get this home. Uh, less than 40 of those remaining. It's 16.99. I think this is going to be an early bird sellout before half past eight. Be aware. What we're going to do, we're going to move on because we've got loads of new fabrics this hour. But I'll keep you stock. In fact, there's less than 30. I'll keep you updated on the stock. I will keep you updated. Well done, everybody. Now, because you've opened your order, remember, it's 1 p.m.p. all day long to get, all day long today. So whether you're buying on the web shop later this evening, whether you're buying any of our brand new fabrics that we've got for you this hour, whether you're buying our new kit from gorgeous, gorgeous Carrie's Living in Loveliness, um, there's so much coming up today. At 9 o'clock, we've got a great demo on Carrie's kits. If those of you that missed her first show with us on Sewing Street a couple of weeks ago, um, she's got another demo for us, which is really exciting, and four beautiful new kits. Um, if you are shopping with us for the first time ever, talking about the, uh, the sewing starter kit, if you've never bought with us and you're wanting to get involved in the early bird, there's now less than 30. If you jump to our website, in fact, less than 25, there's, uh, it's, it's really, really easy to start uh, shopping with us, whether it be on our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com or with our UK-based customer service team on 0800 001 4433. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Less than 20, less than 20. She's giving me a, a very... Uh, accurate countdown of the early bird. Can we go straight to these? Just because I know so many of you have already eagle eyes spotted, the, spotted them on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the web already. They've already, uh, they're already checking out. Right, what flower do you think this is? Hannah, you're better at flowers than me. We've called them sweet peas. Did Kat call them sweet peas? I think they might be pansies. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? Look at the colours. Brand new today, brand new, never been on air before. And we are going to do brilliant price on all three half metres. So, are they, is it a bundle or...? Yeah, no. Let's go for the violet first. Is that the bottom one? Top one. <gasps> Look at this. I can see why eagle eyes on the web shop have already checked out on this this morning. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Five pounds, 99 and a half metre for your violet fabric. Sweet peas and violet. Isn't that gorgeous? Google sweet peas and see what they look like. I can't think what sweet peas look like. They're more folded is the way that Hannah is sort of describing it. Now she's obviously um, Mrs. Greenfingers upstairs with her gardening. Honestly, she's potted a few plants and now she thinks she's like a professional landscaper. She's got a greenhouse now, have you? I can't wait to be able to come round to see your garden when we're allowed to. 
be so nice. So that's £5.99 for this amount, but it's your chance to bath the bolt as well. So if you're thinking of a dressmaking or larger projects, this will be beautiful. What about a blind? I must say the colours on this are so prominent. I think that would make a really lovely um, rucksack bag or a, like a tote bag. When we're able, I think all of the markets are starting up again soon, aren't they? The outdoor markets to go to a fruit and veg market with a nice new little tote bag. What's that? Five ninety nine, a half metre. Five ninety nine a half metre. But remember, if you do want to buy uh, one and a half metres, for example, add three units to your basket, and you'll still only pay one pmp. But it will come as one continuous piece, brand new today. It's beautiful. Let's do the green next. I don't know if you can get um, sweet peas or pansies in this colour. I do love this colourway. It's a very, very fresh colourway. It's gorgeous. OK. Oh, look at this. It's like it's got a lovely sort of turquoise. 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 Turquoise blues. Oh, look at that. So that'd make a nice men's shirt as well, wouldn't it? Gosh, they are absolutely beautiful. But you could still pull on some of those more purples in the centre there. There's like purple in the middle there. Or the lovely um, lilac and turquoise. Lime colours and chartreuse. And I like this colour in the background as well. What, what colour are we calling this? Like your terracottas. Five pounds, 99 and a half metre. It is brand new today, hot off the press. I love it, love it, love it. When we, um, it's very exciting when we get new products in. I think we always sort of took it for granted before, obviously, what has been happening in the world. But now we've literally been like, oh, we're getting a new shipment, there's something coming in, there's something coming in. It's very exciting when we get new products. It's such beautiful fabric. And whether you're using this for soft furnishings, whether you're using this for gardening things, I'm thinking, um, you need, you know what you do need, Hannah? A gardening tools bag. Are you opening the window again? Oh, uh, no, it's good. I love it when you open the window because we get to hear all the birds singing. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Hannah says, I feel like I'm in the scene from Harry, uh, from Harry, po Mary Poppins. <laughs> from Mary Poppins. <laughs> from Mary Poppins, where the bird comes on, sits on the window ledge and sings to her. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Five pounds, 99 and a half metre. The lovely lime green, peacock blues, turquoise blues, terracottas and lilacs. Five pound, 99 and a half metre. Bag makers, this is beautiful as well. Just adding a splash of colour to your decor. Or if you're like Hannah and want to go, you know, full orange everything. How's, how is that going, Hannah? Hannah bought lots of orange dye and started dyeing everything orange and then painting everything orange. Go on. And she looked into it. She says, I don't know why, I've just got attracted. And she sent me a screenshot of um, Googling and it was uh, lacking in social contact, wasn't it? It, it meant it was orange, you're drawn to orange. I was like, yeah, it's true. The neighbor looked through your door, okay, from a distance. And said, oh, it's actually quite a nice orange. <laughs> I don't know why they were so surprised, Hannah. The purple and blues. Oh, is this the one? Is this the one that everyone was checking out on? I'm thinking a nice little T-shirt, sort of uh, pretty blouse or a, a little girl's dress. This would be lovely. Hannah's thinking like lounging harem style bottoms or you could do like a, a kimono wrap style uh, uh, sort of dressing gown that would look beautiful. What about like a bolster cushion? Do you know those nice cushions that you tie um, onto wooden dining room chairs? They're lovely. Or storage pots for your plants. You know, if you see, um, if, you, if you've got any of the Wendy Gardner books, if you have got any of the Fat Quarter books, just the small, lovely home or gifts uh, products that you can do. Revamp your sewing room with some storage boxes. Half a metre for £5.99. Great price for 100% cotton, quilting weight. 
your sweet peas on blue. Please will you message in on Facebook. We're watching on the Facebook uh, the page. It's Sewing Street TV on Facebook. What flowers are they, do you think, please? I'm going pansies. I think sweet peas are more crunchy. Scrunchy, crunchy. Um, the reason I say it is because, you know Jane Greenoff, she does beautiful cross stitch with flowers like this, doesn't she? I can't think what she calls them. £5.99. Pansies. My grandma used to always have pansies, that's why I recognise them. £5.99, a half metre. That colourway is beautiful. That would look nice in a shirt dress like you're wearing today, Hannah. This would look really, really nice on you in a shirt dress. Beautiful. Okay. I've got ivory poppies. Um, yes, they are. They are poppies. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't questioning you, Kat, I promise. Um, oh, look at this. I'm always looking for lovely poppy fabric like this. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. You could just have that as a nice scarf, couldn't you? It's a poplin weight, so it's lighter weight. Lovely as a little summer dress as well. It's 112 wide. £4.99 a half metre for your poppies on ivory. How pretty is that? It really, really is. I think that would make a beautiful dress. Or even if you were to do um, a blind. You know you were saying about blinds, actually? Sorry. Did you see me leaning on the table? I, I find it really hard to hold, you know, my fabric fitness. I find it very, very hard to just stand like this. It's very hot, isn't it? It's very hot. I put my shorts on today because yesterday I was moaning, wasn't I, that I was, I was too hot. £4.99 and a half metre. What about if you were to just put a section of this into a hoop and just embellish with some beautiful embroidery? Even the way it's been made, is almost like the start of a free motion embroidery on a machine. It, do you see what I mean? You could in free motion and, uh, and do um, bags with it. That would look really nice. That would look really, really nice. Some lovely cushions. Just some lovely cushions for the garden, maybe. £4.99. It is a slightly lighter weight cotton, just so you're aware. It is that popping weight, which I actually think is perfect for dressmaking. Perfect. Um, if you are using it for bag making, just use an interfacing like you normally would potentially anyway. Um, H640 might be out of stock at the moment, but it's definitely worth keeping your eyes peeled. We've got uh, some iron-on interfacing on the website. If you then just want to cut it out, if you just want to iron on your interfacing and then cut it out to make a bag. Just £4.99. Beautiful colour. Brand new today. Poppies on ivory. Poplin weight. Let's keep with the floral theme, shall we? We've got our beautiful Liberties. Last of stock now, by the way. This is going to be the last of stock on these Liberties, and it's probably the second time I've seen them. Right, when I say last of stock, I mean last of stock. I think it's uh, nothing has got actually more than... Oh, look at the sloths. I've not seen that one either. Um, Liberty, I don't think anything has got more than three metres. That's how limited it is. So... Is it a mega bundle or all half metres, Hannah? All half metres now. They're all so limited that we're just doing them by the half metre. Are you ready? Because once we bring the graphics live, I know how popular this is going to be. They are beautiful. They're quilting weight cotton, by the way. Quite often when we're talking about Liberty uh, fabrics, you might be looking at more lawn weights, whereas this is quilting weight, Liberty cotton, 7.49 a half metre. Nothing has more than three metres in stock. So if you are thinking of larger projects, snap it up as soon as you can. I, I, and I know a lot of people are going, I am. I have got lots in mind for this print. This is beautiful. Can we get any more of these in? Or is, have they said that that's it now? We had to get the flower show twice, didn't we? We were lucky to get it twice because of how quickly it sold first time round. But I actually think that now uh, we will have to move on to the next collection. Normally we only get the collection once, but this one was so popular that we had it twice and it's now about to sell out as, again. It's 7.49 half metre. If you do want more than half a metre, be quick to, to select uh, how many units you want. It's 7.49 for one half metre, which I should show you really. Looks like that. That's half a metre, which still, if you think about that, is two fat quarters. How much you're going to be able to make with just half a metre? 
makeup bags. If you buy a Liberty purse, a Liberty makeup bag, a Liberty tote bag even, uh, how much it costs. Liberty pin cushions, little Liberty uh, book covers or something, if you wanted to do a notebook cover. You could do such lovely gifts for people that are just there in your cupboard with half a meter, you could do that. Uh, if you do want to take advantage of the, the multi-buy option though, remember it's only one PMP all day and it will come continuously um, on one, uh, one continuous roll. Let's do the next one. Good luck on that. There's loads of you who have got it in your basket. It is going to be first to check out. This ditzy print is one of the most classic prints. I'm trying to work out that I keep it in order. Right, there we go. This is a lovely, lovely ditzy print, which is... For me, absolutely iconic Liberty. That is exactly what you think of when you think of Liberty prints for me. The beautiful ditzy fabric prints. I'm thinking for a summer dress or for a shirt or a blouse or again, just small projects. Look at that beautiful ditzy print. Just a splash of this. Remember, you can mix it in still with your solid fabrics and it's going to go an awfully long way, isn't it? It is going to go a long way if you're mixing it in with your solids as well. Seven forty-nine, a half metre, from the Flower Show Spring Range. Just seven pounds forty-nine, a half metre. Loving all these floral prints. Remember, less than three metres left. Right, next one's two metres. Next one's two metres. That one's called Suffolk Fields. This one is called, let me see. If, is it Chatsworth? For, yeah, Chatsworth Blossom. Named after Chatsworth House. 7.49, a half metre. We were discussing this morning, we're really, really lucky here where we film Sewing Street is a really beautiful um, converted country house really, isn't it? And in the kitchen, Hannah, I must say, I think it was the light, mainly. But also, Hannah looked like she belonged in that country home. It was like a, a magazine shoot. She's dressed up beautifully this morning. And um, yeah, she says, this is the sort of house, Chatsworth house, that you'd suit Hannah. So don't aim too high. Just remember the, uh, your, your V&A museum pieces. When you do get exhibited in the V&A, you, you know, when they, or they put a plaque on the, on the door, the blue plaques that say Chatsworth House once lived here, uh, Hannah McCabe. <laughs> you can hear it now, can't you? It rolled off the tongue for me. <laughs> 749, it was just... Oh, dear. That's half a metre. 749 a half metre for your flower spring range. Right, that one is about to sell out. Let's do... If you do think you want to make any clothes with these dressmaking projects... Oh, it will be a small one because there's only a metre of this. My little pair of Liberty shorts, cotton shorts. Hot pants. Little girl's dress. Oh, my word. That would be one that you pass down through family. Oh, gosh, that'd be beautiful as a little girl dress. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Oh, these ditzy prints are so, they're just so classic, aren't they? They're always going to be on trend. I love that yellow as well, that splash of yellow. Mix it in with maybe some of, we've got some rainbow fabrics. And even, you know the Tilda collection? Hang on, I'm just going to hold this like this. You know in the Tilda Fat Quarters, the yellows that are in here look really beautiful with that. That goes really well together, doesn't it? That's coming up, by the way, the Fat Quarter Pack. Oops. Um, we've got two other half metres and that is it. And both of these have only got, oh, right, we're just going to go on and gone. Um, Half a metre, half a metre left of each of these. This one's beautiful. I can see why there's only half a metre left of this one. It's so pretty. Half a metre left, who wants it? Floral flowers. It does look very, very living in loveliness, doesn't it? She's used some of the Liberty, uh, Liberty collection for uh, the kits that we're gonna show you and it is absolutely beautiful. 
item of children's clothes that you keep forever. Or even like a little soft toy that kept a posh one for the shelf, one that's um, a Liberty elephant or something. Oh, that'd look gorgeous. Right, that's what Hannah wants in Chatsworth House, you know, in a in a new in a new abode. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, a little blue button nose, pink inside the ears. What about this pink? This pink. <gasps> 749 and a half metre. Love this silhouette. Silhouette flower rose for 749. Who wants the last half a metre? I haven't watched Countdown for ages. I should start, really, shouldn't I? My math skills. 7.49. Really? Is that like a fun fact? Does everybody know that? Do you know that Debbie Shaw um, went for the role that Carol Vorderman, um, the role of Carol Vorderman? Ah. Oh. So hang on. Is Debbie Shaw really good at maths then? She was, mem she was a member of Mensa. Ah, oh, do you know when you realise Debbie Shaw, she just keep, she's just the woman that just keeps giving, doesn't she? Everything I learn about Debbie, I'm like, oh, it doesn't surprise me. Seven forty-nine, a half metre. That will obviously be gone. Sorry, I got distracted by Debbie Shaw. <gasps> That's, by the way, can I just say, there are about 50 of her books left. That's it. If you go onto our website, www.sewingstreet.com, the book, which is on the shelf. <laughs> I was thinking you were talking about the website. The book's on the shelf on the website. Um, the book, I can uh, hopefully bring the graphics live for this because our amazing Debbie Shaw, um, she has launched her brand new book, which is uh, another uh, edition of The Sewing Room Secrets, but this time it's quilting. It's £9.99. It's not launched anywhere else. It's completely exclusive for us. And it's um, signed by Debbie as well. It is signed by Debbie. Hannah offered to sign them. She said no. But very lovely. She said it really nicely, though, didn't she? Top tips, techniques for successful sewing. There she is, our lovely Debbie. If you would like to make the most of this amazing, amazing book with so many brilliant tips and techniques, the great thing about this is that we always talk about, you know, patchwork, but I love the fact that she's really focused on quilting with this one. So it's always the bit that we sort of don't get round to talking about the quilt sandwich and finishing your quilt, free motion embroidery, binding, and some really lovely projects in here as well. I think it's come at the perfect time, hasn't it? A lot of us are finishing a bit, are thinking about finishing um, quilts off or learning a completely new skill. At £9.99, I can't recommend Debbie's books enough because they're really, really user-friendly. They're suitable for beginners or intermediate, advanced sewers. She really breaks it down beautifully with fantastic instructions. She's a brilliant, brilliant teacher and she's packed so much into this at £9.99. Honestly, I was here over on our sister channel on Jewelry Maker the day that Debbie was signing all these books and she said, I have never, ever signed so many books, ever, for a launch, ever. This is the most books I've ever signed in a launch. Uh, I mean, we've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these go. We are down to the last 50. If you want one of these books, it's £9.99. Um, I just wanted to let you know, as we were talking about Debbie, it launched this week. I know that we've uh, we've seen it most days, but please do make the most of that because I know hundreds of you have already got it. Are they? I must say, that is testament to our amazing warehouse team. They are incredible, incredible. Thank you so, so much for, for updating us on the Facebook page that you've got your book already. Um, thank you for your patience if it is taking a day or two longer, but our warehouse team are working extremely safely, but also very, very efficiently to get all of your products to you so you can keep making through this hard time. Keep making, keep sewing, or start sewing. Uh, at £9.99, you're going to learn so much from Debbie. We love this book. Stockings, Christmas stockings, Trapunto ones as well. The sort of 3D effect where you, uh, Trapunto. 
It sounds like something from Pinocchio, uh, Hannah's saying. <laughs> Your nose will grow longer, Trapunto. Who, why, why does it sound like someone from... Um, can you tell that we're a bit affected by the heat in here? It's very warm in this little studio. It is warm. How are you up there in your lovely... Uh, with a window? She's having a coffee. She's got the window open in her lovely country abode. Deary me, what is she like? Okay, so can I just show you these very briefly? I'm just going to give you a quick flash because... Um, <laughs> I know that you probably won't be able to find these on the web yet because... We're going to do them at the end of the hour and I'm going to give you the code. What we're going to do, the reason that this haven't gone onto the website yet is because we're going to do a special price on them. Stay tuned before the end of the hour. They are very, very designer. They remind me of um, is it a gentleman. P.S. That's all I'm saying. Am I really bad at hints? Love them. Love them. They're not yet on the website. We will tell you the special price and I'll tell you how you can check out on them at the end of the hour. It's almost like, you remember that thread box when we were like, look, this is just on the down low. We're going to do special price on those at the end of the hour and I'll tell you how you can buy them. Early bird update, please, Hannah. Oh, it's going to sell out. Single figures. It's $16.99. We saw it online at $29.99. You've got so many. In fact, 167. 167 different products in here. It's your comprehensive haberdashery set. Scissors, tape measure, threads, elastic, quick and pick, monofilament, safety pins, um, <laughs> machine needles, uh, snaps, pins, little, uh, nice little tin of pins, Velcro, uh, your yarn, marking tools, loads and loads and loads in there for $16.99. Sorry, I'm going to move on because it's less than 10 and if I start talking about this, I'll get a bit carried away and we'll be here for a lot of time. A really nice... Um, yeah, that's a, re that's a real measurement of time. A lot of time. Um, and it comes in like one of those posh chocolate box stacker... stacker... Um, stacker boxes. Think about how much you pay for, for solid storage boxes. Eight, nine pounds, one with all those sections, got to be. Um, okay. Oh, yes, I've never seen this fabric. Is it new as well? Or has this been on? New to me. New to you, Hannah? New to Hannah as well. New to us all. <laughs> it took a while to get there, but it's new to us all. Look at this. Oh, cat, look. Yes. Kat, Kat said that she was, um, Kat was saying, compared herself to a, a sloth this morning, didn't you? <laughs> she says, I'm slightly slower than Joey getting to the website. She says, I'm just like a bit of a sloth this morning. Look at him. I love that he's in the sunshine. He looks like, he looks like very namaste, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I can absolutely sort of, I love him. <laughs> do you know what I would do? I would fussy cut these. These are lovely for fussy cutting and appliqueing, aren't they? Just five pounds <laughs> ninety nine. Look at his little hands <laughs> and lovely sunshine as well. He's having a nice day in the park, isn't he? In the sunshine. And look at all the flowers as well. Coming up the leaves, the lovely um, blossom and the flowers. I like the sunshine as well. They'd be nice to fussy cut and applique onto to bits and bobs, different projects. £5.99. That is the first time we've seen this fabric. And it's so much fun, isn't it? That's so cute. In the sunshine. Namaste. I think he's meditating. Five pounds, 99, half metre. What are you thinking of making? What are you thinking of making? I think this is perfect for fussy cutting. Hang God, hang God, hang God. Cat's going to make curtains from this. Cat! What? From a distance. <laughs> I 
Sorry, I really don't mean to laugh at your creative idea. Sorry to shoot you down, Kat. But please don't make curtains. Please don't make curtains. Oh, in a children's room. Um, no, no, no. Let's come up with a different idea. Maybe a lampshade. I get a lampshade. That'd be good. I think curtains is quite a lot, isn't it? Five pounds ninety nine. Do you know where we've got all of our sloth embroidery boxes and things like that? You could do a whole um, theme in your workroom. Caddies and yeah, I like that idea. Sew machine cover. Things for your garden. I'm thinking it's just so, sunshine. I, don't, I can't work out if he's got. Um, you can make a garden quilt, can't you? I mean, that's so gorgeous for a garden quilt. Huge hexes, maybe. I'd fussy cut them. I would just applique them onto things. Right, let's go. Tote bags. Yeah, good idea. Um, by day and by night, he's just chilling, isn't he? Yeah, look. <laughs> Five ninety nine a half meter. I like it with the dark background. I think it really makes it pop, doesn't it? The flowers are more prominent, aren't they, behind the leaves? Five pounds ninety nine. I like the detail as well on the leaves. Look at how beautiful the leaves are. If you are multi buying, remember. If you are looking at multi-buying, um, then remember it'll come joined up. We're going to cut it off the bolt, especially for you for whatever size you want. Please let me know what you're thinking of making with this. We're, uh, we want to know because we, we, we're not very creative this morning here, are we? Um, we ha Kat's still thinking curtains. Okay. Oh, yeah, message in. Message in. What are you thinking of making? Um, because... We're not feeling too creative this morning, are we? I think the heat's getting to us. <laughs> Don't forget, before the end of the hour, we are going to do three brand new fabrics, these lovely pinstripes, and we're going to do three brilliant prices. Um, they are all going to be amazing. Great price coming up before the end of the hour and I will show you and tell you how you can buy those. Uh, right, don't forget our brand new Pansies fabrics still available at the moment on the web. The blue, stock update on the blue. The blue is, go is going very, 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 very fast. Um, we're going to have to say goodbye to this one very soon. It's £5.99. It's gorgeous. Triple the amount of the others on this one. I'm not surprised. Uh, this was the one that Hannah... Was, it was your personal favourite, wasn't it? You were going a blind in a, a downstairs bathroom, weren't you? Or a dress. That's what, exactly what I was thinking. The shirt dress that you were wearing today would look beautiful like this. £5.99. Maybe we should get Hannah on. Should we say at 10 o'clock? At 10 o'clock, just because she looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I haven't got another microphone at the moment. One of our microphones has gone walkies. Hannah's saying, oh, it's fine, I don't need to talk, but I just, she just wanted to show you a dress. OK. Um, where should we go next? Mixed of fabrics. Do you know what? These are going to go really nicely with so many different fabrics that we've seen today. And they are all in this beautiful rainbow. So, you've got the orange, you've got your lovely pinks. Oh, right, you know the pink pansies? Pinks and blues, I'd put those two with it. And the lilac underneath it, actually. They do look really nice together. In fact, Kat, can I just show you like this? Because I would put all of these with this. Sorry, just like that. I would definitely get these three, certainly. What do you think? Too much with the yellow. 
too much with the yellow. Do you think these two, definitely, the pink and the blue? You, little bits of yellow sort of pull out the middle of the flowers, doesn't it? But I think that might be too much. Let's go with the pink then. Pink on its own. Oh, and do you know what I love about this? Can you see from there? It's got that lovely sort of mottled effect. It's got a, uh, a bit of a texture, not like a texture to touch, but like a texture to the eye. Uh, £3.99 and a half metre. This is what I was talking about when I was saying about our Liberty fabrics. If you're buying fabrics like this, it will make your designer fabrics go that extra mile. Just £3.99 and a half metre. Great value for money. You can't just have pattern on pattern on pattern all the time. It makes your nice pattern stand out if you've got it next to a, um, a solid or a blender. Oh no. Cat's got the hiccups. We've got to make a jump. We've got to try and make a jump. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre. That's such great value and it's really lovely soft cotton. 100% quilting weight cotton. Right, do you want to do the blue as well? Because the blue goes with the, um, the pink colourway. Oh, in fact, do you know how popular your blues were, Hannah? It looks lovely with that, but also... Um, it's up to you. Do you want me to hold it? So these, with your... I'm going these two. I think it's too much. You wouldn't have a big block of yellow like that. You just have a little sprinkling of yellow as well, maybe. Maybe even as a really thin, if you're doing a quilt like a um, uh, sort of, I can't think what it's called. Victoria Carrington showed me before where you just do like a really lovely pin took around um, or bunting or something, it would look lovely, wouldn't it? If you were to have the string in yellow and then have these three as alternate in bunting. Potentially? I'm definitely thinking these two. Which one do you want to go with next? Is it the lilac? This is really lovely. Did we do the blue? No, we didn't. Drink. There's the lilac. The lilac's really pretty. And I'll tell you what, the lilac goes really nicely with lots of the fabric we've seen. It goes actually with some of the... Um, with some of the Liberties. I'd probably put it with some of your Liberty fabrics as well, if you manage to get any of these by the half metre. Sorry. Lots of the Liberties now out of stock. Well done if you manage to get them. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre for your lilac. It's always worth, you know when we're launching new fabrics, I like it when we do this, but it's always worth having a look on our web shop Asking me to play around with them as well. Say if you want me to put any fabrics next to other fabrics so you can see. I love bringing these colours in, absolutely. But there are other colours on the web shop, remember? There are other colours on the web shop, so it's definitely worth going on there. And if you're buying a pattern fabric, get a half metre or something, a contrasting or a complementing colour as well to go with. The blue would look beautiful. The sloths, by the way, leading uh, very, very quickly. Love them. The sloths on white, down to five and a half metres. I'll come back to those in a second. The blue, oh, lovely. Um, the cutting mats, did you say? Um, I've, got, I've, got the, I've got the sloth cutting mat and pressing mat. I've got that. £3.99, now this is called denim. It's not, it's a cotton. It's a denim blue colour, £3.99. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre uh, for your denim cotton. Just three pound, 99 and a half metre. They are beautiful. Okay. Oh no. Don't take photographs of me while I'm on the telly, please, Hannah. Um, do you want to do yellow next? 
We keep picking up the yellow and just, let me try it with the green. It goes with the sloths. Oh yes, it goes with this, it goes with this. Perfect, that is absolutely perfect. Those three together, I'd do that. That's my pick, that's my pick. Oh yes, we've got lemon water today. I'm excited for my lemon water. What about we sloths? Yeah, goes very well with that. They're coming up, they're coming up. This, this yellow is so bright and sometimes I do think, oh, does it go, does it go? But actually, if you, you don't need to think about it as a half meter piece like this. Once you start cutting it up and putting it next to other fabrics, it works really, really well. It's just that little lift, isn't it? Sunshine lift, three pounds 99. Good morning, everyone, rise and shine. How's the weather today? We haven't had our daily weather forecast from Hannah. Feeling good. Storm's lifted, but there's a but. Every now and then, one eye starts crying like Sinead O'Connor. Just one. That's the weather forecast for today. Slight leaky eye, therefore, I'm presuming that means, um, I'm presuming that means uh, hay fever is high. <laughs> Three powers, 99. Have you taken antihistamines? Okay. That dress does make your eyes pop. It looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful with the, um, my favorite pansies one, that lovely greens. Or oh, sweet peas if you're looking for it on the website. Uh, last colorway is your orange. Orange works with sloths as well, yes. It's tangerine, sorry. Tangerine works with the sloths. Works with your, with your sloths. Also works with all of your stripes. These stripes, you won't be able to find it on the web. I'll tell you how you can check out at the end of the hour. Sorry, just for £3.99, a half metre, I'll tell you how you can get those striped ones very soon, they're brand new. There's your orange, tangerine, sorry, cat. £3.99, a half metre. This is lovely in your house, Hannah. It's, it's a tasteful orange, isn't it? It's, um, it's a lovely tangerine, especially with that mottled effect. It's not overpowering at all. It's, it's quite a corally orange. Corally orange. Yes, I did say corally orange. It rolls off the tongue. Three pounds 99, a half metre. Um, not long, by the way, until we uh, launch these stripe fabrics. There was something that you wanted me to do, the sloths. Very, very limited indeed. Um, so, the sloth fabrics are extremely limited. It's fine, go for it. What do you want me to do first? Sloths first, on white. Brand new today. What are you thinking of making? Has anybody messaged us on Facebook telling us what we're, uh, what we're making? Six metres left, did you say? The other one's six metres. This one's got 15 metres, you can still do it. Five pound 19 and a half metre. What do you mean? Oh, hang on, there's five metres of this one and six of the other one. She's read the wrong thing. She says, I've got contact lens problem and a leaky eye. <laughs> one cry eye. And I'm not allowed to touch my face, so sorry for the numbers the wrong way around. That's fine. Five metres of this left. Okay. That one's five metres left, the other one, six metres left, I think. Yes, <laughs> we think. <laughs> we can't be sure today. Weather forecast means that, uh, yeah, we... One nigga high makes it hard to, to, to read numbers sometimes. <laughs> five pound 99, half metre, your sloths on black. This really makes those sloths pop. The colours of the flowers as well. 
We just love him. Look at him. He's namaste. He's so cute. He's chilling. He's in the sun. They're all social distancing. Absolutely, cats. <laughs> just £5.99. The other sloth products that we have, which are gorgeous, um, we always love these. They're always very, very popular whenever we have them. Um, I'm going back one second. If you've, if you love sloths, then these are for you. Don't worry if you've checked out the sloth fabric and you're coming back for these. You can still only pay. You'll still only pay one pmp all day long. Twenty nine ninety nine. Now the great thing about this is that it's actually. One, it's so portable, so when we're able to go back to our workshops, this is going to be ideal, isn't it? Um, because you can slot in, you've got a lovely sturdy handle, you can slot in your pattern pieces through here, take it to your workshops without having to lug around your cutting mat and your pressing mat. You've got the two in one, it's A3 size, your cutting mat, your pressing mat, you can fold it back on itself and it won't hurt the spine. Uh, it's got all of your lovely measurements and angles, all of your important measurements and angles. And it's a nice size, actually. It's a very manageable size for portable uh, to, port to sort of take it around. But also, they're not too small. There's loads that you're going to be able to, to press on here and cut on the other side. $29.99, but we just love the sloths. They're gorgeous, aren't they? £29.99 for your A3 ironing and cutting multi mat. Look at him, he's just chilling as well, isn't he? Doing his knitting. They're so cute, love them. Um, right, so that's the Sloth A3 cutting mat. I've also got, I'm going to call it four in one. Your four in one. So, £14.99. Pressing mat, small but mighty. You've got your pressing mat. Now, if you're thinking, right, it is smaller, don't worry, because look, you can actually open that out and have a, a bigger surface to press on. It's like sort of a squidgy surface, which is nice to press on. Uh, if you have a look inside, we've got our cutting mat. So we're gonna do lots of cutting there. We've also got this sort of, um, like a velour, velour suede cell fabric, you can see. Um, like the cave design wall. So you can use that to position your block out and it's not going to be slipping and sliding. On the other side, we've also got some sandpaper. So if you're marking out your pattern pieces, but you find it that it's slipping over the table, if you put it on here, it's not going to slide around, is it? So if you're marking any of your fabrics or any of your pattern pieces, then that's going to be really, really helpful. So yeah, you've got four in one here. £14.99. I think this is one of those really great gifts. If you've got one of those present cupboards or present drawers, even if you're thinking, do you know what, it's not so-and-so's birthday for a couple of months yet, but it's always, it's always the case when you're trying to find something that suits someone's hobby when it comes to their birthday. You can never find it, can you? Whereas this would be a lovely gift for somebody. And ideal, again, when we can go on workshops, anybody who's starting sewing and looking now into doing workshops and, uh, and uh, some classes when we're able to, this would be brilliant. £14.99 uh, for your sloths, your gorgeous little sloths. If you want to get the whole range, uh, make the most of it. We also do have the embroidery embroidery sewing box with the sloths as well. There's not long, by the way, we're going to do it now. No, not yet. They're coming up. Yes. Liberty Fat Quarters, last of stock. Last of stock on Liberty Fat Quarters. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 11 fat quarters from the Winterbourne House range. Uh, I'm going as far as saying I think this is my favourite Liberty collection. I can't wait to visit Winterbourne House. It's in Birmingham. It's so close to home and we're not able to go at the moment. Um, but I will definitely be going there. It's such a beautiful collection. I'm going to take you, Han, yes. Yes. It'll be so nice. Look at all of the different gorgeous colours. Where do you want me, cat? £42. 99 for all of your beautiful different Winterbourne house range prints. 11 fat quarters. I love the poppies. I do love the poppies. 
Let me show you what a fat quarter looks like as well, because those of you that have got any of the fat quarter books from Wendy Gardner, or any of them, um, mind you, this is a fat quarter. There is a lot that you're going to be able to make with that. 42.99. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Love the colours. Absolutely love the colours as well. 11 fat quarters. The teal colourways for 42.99. It's now complete last of stock. Last of stock on these. Okay. I think we're going to have to, we are going to have to um, hurry up, aren't we? I don't know where this hour's gone. No, we're just having a nice leisurely morning today, if that's okay with you. So, we're going to do a bit of a sneaky. We've got some brilliant prices for you, and you will have to go to the website to do it. Oh, in fact, you can call the customer service team still, but it just won't be underneath us on the web. We haven't launched these onto the website yet because we don't have enough. If you want them, now, you've got to be quick. So, shall I start with the greens? I love a pinstripe. Shirts, oh my word, dressmakers, go for it. It's 3.99 a half metre. Got to be the most affordable pattern fabric that we have. We don't have enough. Right, what you need to do is you need to jot down your item code number, which is at the top of the screen there. D for Delta, E for Echo, L for Lima. J for Juliet, 92. D E L J 92. Search it on the web shop. If you go to www.sewingstreet.com, I don't know where the cat, we can show. If you go to Sewing Street, it will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers home, uh, page. We've got a, a landing page on there, so don't worry, you've got, you haven't gone to the wrong place. Uh, it will still. Uh, it will still find the striped, striped uh, fabric. So at the top, D, E, L, J, can you remember it? 92, search, there it is. There it is, you can check out a 399. That is the secret way. Keep it on the down low though, because we shouldn't really be doing this right now. We are not gonna have enough to go around. If you want the greens, be quick. We've got the pinks. Again, it's such gorgeous quality. It really, really is. I think this would be really nice in a bag as well. Because you could have navy, you could me, uh, mix it with yellow, you can mix it with green, you can mix it with pink, you can mix it with orange, you can mix it with so many different colors that are there. For £3.99, your pinks and purples. What about for binding? What about binding? This is amazing. So your item code number is S Z L J 46. Jot that down. S Z L J 46. We're going to go to a break straight afterwards to give everyone a chance to check out on the web on these ones because I know that they are very, 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 very limited. Brilliant price point for gorgeous quality. Uh, what were you thinking for these? Oh, little pockets or just an embellish embellishments like inside your pockets or uh, as little um, sleeves or cuffs. Like a laptop cover. Technology. It looked quite smart, wouldn't it? A laptop bag. You know, your technology. Tablet covers or stands or phone covers or things. £3.99. Uh, S Z L J 46. That's for your pinks and purples. Write it down. You can check out on the break. Um, the next one is your orange. They are lovely oranges. Three pounds ninety-nine a half metre. Check out as soon as you can. It's L Q L J seventy-six. That's L for Lima. Q for Quebec. L for Lima. J for Juliet seventy-six. Yes, absolutely. Shirts, men's shirts. These would be ideal. They're really smart, aren't they? Just three pound ninety-nine a half metre. I'm hoping it's not sort of strobing on your screen. I'm trying to hold it really still. Just £3.99. That's fantastic value, isn't it? 
just to have in your stash because you're going to be able to blend so many different threads and colour fabrics um, along with that. Okay, do make sure you're checking out on the website. The next hour is going to be amazing. We are joined, well, I say joined, virtually. She sent us a, a video in from gorgeous Kerry from Living in Loveliness. She's actually posted on our Facebook this morning. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. It was only uh, whilst we were on air. Ah, here she is. She has, uh, has posted the, the, the item that we're going to be making this morning. How exciting. Second sewing sheets show at 9 a.m. Super excited, especially... Uh, as I've been given my weekly slot on the show. Ooh, very exciting. Time to design new patterns. There you go, amazing, hot off the press, exclusive. Really excited about that. Uh, we've got four brand new kits making a beautiful caddy, which is gonna be perfect to store all your workroom tools, all your bits and bobs. And also you're going to see Kerry demonstrate it all in full. So do not go anywhere. Check out on the stripes, check out on any of the brand new fabrics. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna be back uh, with you right after this. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sally Stevens, and I'm here to introduce you to the amazing Starburst quilt that you can see behind me. It's a beautiful quilt. It's completely stunning. And the fabrics that we've got for you are just amazing. Tulip pink, you've probably already guessed. Uh, brilliant colours, fantastic quality fabric too to, to work with, and uh, a stunning design that I hope you're going to enjoy. And I'm going to show you how to make. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6.
Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Welcome back, welcome back to Sewing Street. Can I just say, I'm so excited for tomorrow's show. It's uh, John Cole Morgan's extended birthday show. Remember, they're live five hours tomorrow. It's gonna be a big one, big show. Uh, especially with, uh, did you see Sally Stevens' quilt? Oh, I love Tula. Tula pink, beautiful fabrics. Gorgeous quill. You're going to be able to get the whole kit uh, coming up with John in his show. He is so jammy. He's got the best birthday lineup for you. Do make sure you join him tomorrow morning from 8 o'clock. Uh, now, this hour is going to be so, so, so much fun. So lovely. Speaking of lovely, living with loveliness, gorgeous Kerry, who is uh, one of our latest additions to the Sewing Street family, who is now, of course, going to be joining us more and more and more. You'll see her most weeks. Uh, well, she's put together the most stunning, stunning kits. So, uh, thank you all, and Kerry, I must pass, make sure that I send all these messages to you because we've had so many lovely messages coming in uh, saying that how much everybody's looking forward to your show. So, really looking forward to this. Sarah actually said, is it greedy to say that I want both? No. Oh. Right, what I will ask you though, please would you just make sure that you've got a pen and paper handy. Pen and paper handy, and I'll explain all in a second. Uh, are we going to do the Millwood gift set beforehand or after? We'll do that after. Right, so let's get and go with the kit because they come to you absolutely beautifully. Kerry, they are oh, stunning. Present presentation is stunning on these. So we got two Riley Blake options and two Liberty options. I'm going to start with the Liberty options, Kat, and the item code for this, this is where you need your pen and paper, is A I. L one four six. That's A I L one four six. You can see on the top of the screen. You will need that item code number to search on your on the website or to speak to the customer service team with, as it isn't appearing on our website for some reason. Uh, your kit is beautiful. It's £39.99. I will open them all up. I'll show you what's inside uh, afterwards, but I just want to make sure that we get all the codes in and everybody's jotting them down. So, this is Liberty option number one. It will be opened in just a second and I'll show you what we're making, but I just want to get all of the, um, just want to get all of the graphics live. Liberty option number two, Cat, is G J. L one four one. Oh, you've done it. There you go. She's done it. G L. Sorry, G J L one four one is option number two for Liberty. I will open them and go through exactly what you're getting in the kit once we've got the graphics through. So then, write all the codes down, and then you can just do a little tick next to the one that you want when we uh, when we open them all up. Then you can just search it on the uh, on the web and check out. Then there are your Liberty options. I've got two Riley Blake options. I've got H A L one two four H A L one two four. That's your option one. Search that in uh, the the item code on the search bar on the website. You'll be able to find that one. Living in Love and Less Riley Blake option one. Riley Blake option two is P C L one five two. PCL152. Write down these item code numbers and then I'm going to go back to option one and I'm going to show you what's inside. So they are absolutely beautiful. They are packed with absolute gorgeousness. So this is AIL146. Yep. Should we open it together? I haven't even looked in these yet. They've literally just arrived this morning. I love that they come with a nice sticker on the front packed with loveliness. Lots of love, Kerry. How gorgeous is that? So straight away, you're getting your webbing, you're getting your strap for your caddy, and then you're also getting wrapped in beautiful tissue paper. You also come like this as well at home. You'll also get oh, your interfacing or your, your foam. You then also have your fat quarters of these two Liberty prints. The two Liberty prints that you're seeing here are the ones that you're going to get, and you'll also get your pattern. Pattern to make the caddy that looks like this. You could use it for your sewing things, 
you could use it for your uh, makeup, you could use it for toiletries, you could use it as a, a wool sort of caddy for your knitting. So you get your two half meters of your coordinating fabric. You get a 40 inch by 10 inch bosal foam. You then also get, it's the first time that we've had bosal actually on the channel, I think. I think it's the first time that we've had the bosal on the channel. You're then also gonna get two 16 inch cotton webbing straps. I like that everything's cut. So, you know, you're getting the sort of very efficient value. You're getting everything you need. You're getting that recipe that's already been weighed out for you. Do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. Um, the finished size of the caddy, just so you know, is 10 inches high by, 10, uh, by eight inches deep by eight inches wide. And the only other things that you're going to need for this is a heat erasable pen or an erasable marking tool, some thread, you can do it on your sewing machine, an iron, pins and scissors. So you don't need anything fancy, fancy tools wise for this. Brilliant. So that's your craft caddy option number one in Liberty. Remember, they're the two prints that you're getting for option one of Liberty. Option two of Liberty. They're beautiful, aren't they? When they're wrapped so beautifully, I think it makes you, it makes it even more special, doesn't it? You know when you order anything online and it's got beautiful presentation and with a lovely note saying packed with loveliness, it just already excites you for the project, doesn't it? It puts us in the right mood for the project. So once again, you get your borsal, which is your lovely foam. You then get your cotton webbing straps. This time, you're getting two, well, you're getting one different alternative of your Liberty. <gasps> They're gorgeous, two half meters of Liberty. How are you gonna decide? How are you gonna decide? Plus your instructions. Please do read through your pattern thoroughly and remember we are gonna be, uh, we are gonna be watching Kerry's demonstration this hour as well. Uh, so that's option number two. Search a code on the website, search a code on the website or just call the customer service team if you prefer to speak to somebody. Just say Liberty option one or Liberty option two. This is option two. It's completely free, by the way, to call the customer service team. If you've never shopped with us before, they're so, so lovely and they're literally down the road from us here. So they will be very, very helpful for you. Right, I'm going to do option number one of your Riley Blake now, which is HAL124. You can see on your screen there. The last Living in Loveliness show where we launched uh, the, well, the products from Kerry, they were the first time that we've seen Living in Loveliness, all of the Riley Blakes sold out. All of the Riley Blakes did sell out. It's $39.99. Oh, I like the colour of this webbing. This is with your lovely aqua cotton webbing. Same again, you're getting your borsal and this time you're getting two contrasting, but they work so well together. They are... Do you know what? I'm always, always going to choose Liberty. I always choose Liberty, but I think this one's overtaking for me. I'd never normally say that. You know me, I love Liberty, it's always there. And that's the one that I would be picking. I love that. I love this print. So you're also, of course, getting your pattern included. All of your instructions, all of your pattern pieces. $39.99. Okay, your last option. Hopefully we're making this nice and clear for you. If you are watching on a replay, it's definitely worth calling customer service team and asking availability. But just be aware, the, uh, the Riley Blake sold out when we had it before the last time we carry. Okay, the last one. What, 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 what? Pink, bright pink webbing. Look at these. Oh, gorgeous. Different again, Riley Blake print. $39.99, once again with your instructions. Which one are you choosing? We wanna know. Message in, which one are you going for? Are you buying two? They're so gorgeous, aren't they? They are so gorgeous. And you're getting your bosal as well. All wrapped with loveliness from our gorgeous Kerry. Should we have a watch of her demonstration? Don't go anywhere, stay with us. Stay with us, watch the demo, put it into your basket. We're going to give you a chance to check out and I'll be back right on the other side of this demonstration. Hello there, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Sophia craft caddy. So this is really useful for storing your sewing notions and also your project as well. So if you have a little look just on the outside, we've got the pockets there that feature all around the bag. And again, they're inside as well. So you've got the same 
um, storage options on the inside. And what I particularly love about this bag is not only can you store everything that you're going to need to use while you're sewing, but you've also got the space to keep your project inside safe as well. So it's keeping everything together. Um, I'm going to talk you through how to make uh, your craft caddy using the pattern. In all of my patterns, I will talk you through each step and I refer to each piece that you cut from the templates with a letter. So we'll go through, I'm going to show you how to attach binding, how to pop your pockets on there and also how to work with foam as well. So having that lovely stability um, in the bag like I've just shown you just here. So we're going to start with um, your binding pockets. So as you can see on the bag, it's got binding on each of the pockets on both the inside and the outside and then it's complete with your beautiful binding there just on the top as well. So first of all we're going to take your H and your C and also your top binding, your D piece which is a little longer than the binding that you've got on the pockets and we're going to sew, we're going to press those ready for when we're going to pop onto the pockets in a little while. So your first two binding pieces which are your C and H piece, we're simply having those wrong side facing towards you, folding those in half and pressing so you can see the beautiful fabric which will be exposed onto the binding. If we just press all along each strip of binding. Making sure that your raw edges are lining up there. It just gives you a better finish when you're attaching your binding to your pockets or binding to any project. And again, we're going to repeat that. Now what will happen because I'm using a heat erasable pen is you might find that if you run across that pen that you're removing that letter. If that happens, just pick up your pen and pop that back on. But what I tend to do is be very mindful and not remove that letter. So it's easier when I'm following the stages of each of the patterns. And then we're going to work with our pockets. You'll notice here that, and this is, this is personal choice. This is personal preference. You can mix these up if you prefer. But as I've shown you in my bag here, it's just quite nice to have the contrasting binding on top of the pocket. And that complements um, the top of your bag as well. So with both of your pockets facing you, they are your G and your B pieces. We're going to align the top raw edge there of your binding. And again, you can choose, you can change your mind here if you want to. You could put pattern on pattern, but I quite like when you expose those beautiful fabrics and it really highlights the binding on your pockets here. So just using your pins or your quilting clips, whichever you prefer to work with, we're just going to secure the raw edges along the top raw edge of your pocket. Now, if you are making these and you're using a directional fabric, just make sure that your fabric is facing the right way. In the kits, it doesn't matter because we've gone for non-directional fabrics here. So I'm just going to repeat that on the second pocket. Again, just making sure that the top raw edge of the binding is aligning with the top raw edge of that pocket. And again, just clipping to secure those into place. You could use pins if you prefer. And then using a quarter inch stitch, we're simply going to sew across the binding and secure that into place. So just line that up onto your sewing machine and drop your foot and we're just simply going to sew using that quarter inch seam allowance, removing your either your clips or your pins as you sew. And this is a lovely easy project to make because we're simply repeating on the outside of the caddy what we're going to do on the inside of the caddy. And we're going to feed the next pocket onto there as well. So just add a little chain stitch and feed the next pocket on. Keeping that quarter inch seam allowance. And you can see just how beautiful the fabrics are 
when you've got that nice complementary fabric sitting there on your binding. Picking up the blue from those gorgeous flowers. So once you've attached your binding, what we're going to do, we'll just trim away the excess join here. And what I find is easier when attaching the binding this way is if we have the wrong side of the pocket facing towards us and to spread that binding out equally on the front and the back of the pocket, if you now press your raw edge up towards the fold of your binding, you will find at this stage that you'll lose your letters on your fabric, but it doesn't matter here. Don't worry about popping those letters back on because we now know which is the binding and which is our pocket fabric. And by pressing that raw edge up, as we fold this over in a moment, it means that we're going to have the same amount of fabrics showcased on the back as we are on the front. Okay, so just again, just flip this over, just give a nice little press on there, just in case you've got any folds, which sometimes can happen. And then if we turn this back over, we're now going to fold the folded edge over. And what we want to make sure we're doing at this stage here is this folded edge is just sitting just below that stitch line. And by doing that, if I just do a little bit here, let's just pop a little clip on so you can see. So by following those stages there, you'll see that you've got the same amount of fabric showcased on the front of your pocket as you have there on the back of your pocket as well. So it's important that you either clip or pin this into position and it'll just save any unpicking if you miss that binding. Now you could absolutely stitch in the ditch on your binding, but I personally prefer to add a zigzag stitch here, mainly because it means one, it's decorative. You could use your beautiful stitches on your machine, of course, if you've got some lovely stitches there and some beautiful contrasting threads. But by using the zigzag stitch, you know that you're going to catch the back of the binding as well as the front. So again, we're going to repeat that on the second pocket. So if we just turn this over, so you've got the wrong side of the pocket facing you. We're pressing the binding up towards the fold of the binding really setting that seam there and do that across the full pocket. And again, just to make sure there's no creases in that binding, we're just going to turn this over and again, just press against that binding, giving that a nice finish as well. And now we're going to bring the folded edge of the binding over the top of the raw edge, just making sure that the folded edge is sitting just below that stitch line. And this is to make sure you're catching your fabric on the back of the pocket when you're pressing the back of your pocket as well. And again, just take a moment to pin these into position or you can use your clips, whichever you prefer. And you can really see now, when we look at these two pockets, you can really see just how beautiful those fabrics are when sewn together. And I particularly love adding binding to lots of my projects just to showcase the beautiful florals in there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sew on that seam there to secure the binding to the pocket. And as I said, we're going to use a zigzag stitch. This is definitely a fabulous opportunity for you to use those beautiful stitches on your machine. So let's just set the machine up to a zigzag stitch. And to distribute that zigzag across your um, binding here, then if you sit your um, pocket onto the machine, making sure the center of the binding is sitting just in the center of your sewing machine foot as well. And by doing that, you'll get that lovely zigzag featured across. Let's just bring that across a little more. So just as you see this coming through, you'll see you've got that lovely stitch there covering your binding.
and we're going to do that on both binding parts now. You can lengthen that zigzag stitch if you want to and of course if you've got some lovely stitches on there you could definitely use this to showcase those. And I always like to work with a nice complementary um, thread so you can see those stitches on the pocket as well. And we're just going to repeat that on both of the pockets. So this is the pocket for the inside of the bag and also the pocket for the outside of your bag as well. Let's just get to the end of your pocket. And it's definitely worth, if you're using your zigzag stitches or your um, decorative stitches on your machine, having a little play with those, seeing which stitch that you like and seeing which one that you want to see here just on your seam. So let's just go along the second pocket. And I've chosen a lovely pink to work with to pick out those flowers on the beautiful Liberty print here. Just remember to move your clips or your pins as you're sewing along so they're not coming into contact with your machine foot. And you can see there now that lovely stitch. As well as it being decorative, it's also holding that binding into place. And then we've got two really nice, easy pockets here, ready for the lining and also your outer fabric as well. Let's just take these from the machine, cut that joining thread. Bring these across. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the pockets. So this is really where you need to think about what you'd like to put into your caddy. Is it for your sewing accessories or are you making it for a gift? I know I've made them for my children and they love keeping their um, crayons and things in there. So with that in mind, we can then measure up the pockets for your outer fabric. So once you've decided which is your outer fabric, we're going to pop that onto your J piece, which is your foam making sure that you can see those beautiful fabrics. And it's really important here to make sure all the raw edges are lined up now because what we don't want is any gaps in the bag as we're sewing this together. And again, you could swap if you wanted to and you could have colour on colour with your pockets like this. And of course, you've got that lovely bind in there um, that breaks up your fabric so you can see your pockets. Or what I personally prefer to do is to work with the lining fabric and pop those on the outside as well. So the first thing to do is to just slide in two pins at the, either side of your um, pockets here, just to secure those into place. Making sure, as I've said, all your raw edges are lining up. And then the second thing we're going to do here is just using a heat erasable pen or one of your fabric pens is we're going to mark up those pockets. So once you've decided the distance that you want on your pockets, I tend to do a mixture um, of two inches, three inches and four inches. I always tend to start with a four inch um, gap from the pocket because of course you need to allow for your seam allowance here. So just sit in your ruler onto your pocket, making sure the outer um, edge of your ruler is on the edge and also you're flat on the bottom as well because we don't want any pockets that are off to the side. So I'm starting with four inch width difference from the raw edge of the caddy and I'm just going to draw on some lines here. Of course when we come to press this at a later stage we'll be able to remove those lines. And you can just mix those up. If it's something, so if you're doing this and you've got um, a lot of pens there in your accessories, then I'd recommend an inch and a half difference distance from your last line. So just repeat that across. And of course, we're going to repeat on the lining as well. So whatever we do for the outer part of the bag, we're repeating for the lining as well. Just make sure you can really see those lines. It makes life much easier when you're taking this onto your machine and sewing those into place. So I've got some nice wide pockets there which are perfect for um, my sewing notions. And then the second thing we're going to do here to attach the second lot of pockets 
is to have, now I'm working with the F piece, which is going to be my lining. In fact, sorry, this is gonna be the outer bag. So this is the one that I want showcased on the outer side. So when you're making the decision which fabric you want to see the most of, the one without your batting is what you put on the outer part of your bag. And that's really important. And that prevents any sagging inside your bag as well when we pop this together in a little while. So repeating what I did on the inside part of the bag, I'm just popping those two pins on either side, making sure they're going through the fabric and also the pocket as well. And again, we're going to mark up those pockets Sit in your ruler just on top and bringing those across here. And again, I'm going to do three, four, and one and a half inch distance. So I'm hoping you can see here that I'm sitting the ruler on top of the last black line, and that's how I'm measuring up the distance in those pockets here. And of course, in a little while, we'll be able to remove those black lines. But it's there just as a reminder when we're sewing on the machine. So we're just going to bring this back onto the sewing machine now. And we're going to start from working in the centre. So we'll just pop one of these pockets out of the way for now. And we're going to start on that centre pen mark just here. I am going to pop in two pins and I'm going to push these out so they're not coming into contact with my hands as I'm sewing in a moment. So just slide your two pins out from that centre pen mark. And to make it easy when you're popping this on your machine, we're going to roll up the edge of the fabric and slide the fabric underneath our presser foot there. So what's really important about the binding of your pockets is that you reverse stitch on the top of each pocket. So when you're inserting your, uh, your notions or your pens that you're not putting any pressure onto the pockets and they're not coming open as you're sewing. So return your machine back to your straight stitch and then we're going to start by reverse stitching. And when you get to the bottom of the pocket, we can just raise that presser foot Pivot your fabric, roll in your opposite side here. And as we release that thread, just tease a little thread out and then jump across to your next pen mark. Remember to remove your pin if you've got a pin in there as well. Now you don't need to reverse stitch on the bottom raw edge, you're just reverse stitching at the top by your binding, which is of course where you're going to pop in your notions or your pens. And we're just going to continue to tease out that cotton jump across to the next pen mark, and again, we're going to reverse stitch. And we're going to do that on each pen mark here. So this bit takes a little time, but it's definitely worth it when you can see all of your projects inside your bag and all of your notions all nicely organized. And each time just bringing it across. It just means by doing this, we're not having to worry about removing this and trimming the thread and therefore we're not wasting any of the thread. We can trim away all those excess threads right at the end. Now on that last pocket now, so I'm just going to take this off the machine and we're going to go back to the opposite side and work on the opposite side this time. This is the stage where you wonder whether you should have had less pockets. But it's definitely worth having all those extra pockets if you're anything like me and you've got lots of pairs of scissors, lots of rotary cutters. And as you can see, I'm just bringing the fabric in, twisting that around, teasing out that thread and jumping across to the next pen mark. Sewing all the way to the top until we get in line with the binding and reverse stitching at that binding point. And by following these little hints and tips here, it just means you can reduce your thread waste, but also sew across each pocket quite quickly at this stage. And we're just going to finish that last pocket now. And there we have it. So we've now got the outer part of your bag, which has got all of your pockets in place. What we'll do now is we'll just take a moment to take away all these extra threads that we've left that are joining and you can see just how little thread we're using to do this. 
and if you just turn that over as well because you'll also have those additional threads there just on the back. So this just takes a few minutes but it's definitely worth trimming away those extra threads um, to stop any puckering of your pockets. So what we've just done here for the outer fabric, we're now going to repeat for the lining fabric. This time we've got the um, foam. So we've got a little extra to go through. So we're going to pop in just a few extra pins this time. And if you just angle your pins, because we want to make sure when we're rolling the foam that you're not pinning through your hands either. And also your foam will hold into place. Okay, so we're going to pop this back on the machine and repeat the steps that we've just done. So starting on that middle pocket, starting with a reverse stitch on the top of your binding and then sew into the end. What's really important is to make sure that all the raw edges are lining up because there is nothing worse than when you get to your project and you're coming to turn this through that you've got a gap in the bottom. So just take your time sewing through those threads. And again, we're just going to continue to keep turning the project around and sliding this under your machine. You find it takes a little bit more manoeuvring with the foam in there. And if you do, as I've just got there, some thread caught, just take a moment, use your stitch on picker or a little pair of scissors and just trim away any thread that's caught up on your foot. Just to stop that knotting up and putting any pressure on your needle when you're sewing. And you can really see this project starting to take shape now. And we'll pop in the base in just a little while. So just trim away and then we're going to repeat the same on the opposite side as well. This is really the part where I start to feel excited about the project because I can see the pockets coming together, I can see all the beautiful stitches and I can feel the sturdiness of the foam as well. fine just by keep continuing to roll that foam each time you turn it around on the machine it will make it easier for you to sew I think we've got one more pocket and then we're ready to start popping the base on and really see this project come to life. And again what we're going to do now is to just trim away all those excess threads and take away all those extra pins that we've got through the foam, just securing those into the end. And this is quite a fast process because of the way that we've teased out that cotton as we're going from one pocket to the next. So we're just taking all of these off on both the front and the back of our fabric. And you could leave these threads if you really wanted to, but what I find sometimes happen is if you haven't left enough thread you'll find that your pockets will pull together so it's definitely worth taking a moment to just take off any excess threads that you've got attached onto your project there. So what we've just done there is we've repeated on both the outer fabric and the lining fabric and we've got our pockets ready in there to start popping our notions in in a little while. What we're going to do now is to put the base of the caddy in. So as you can see on mine, I've used the contrasting on the uh, Riley Blake option here, I've used the contrasting fabric on the bottom. Again, you could go with the same, it's entirely up to you, although 
um, the pattern will talk you through working with the contrasting fabrics. So to attach your base, what we're going to do, let's just take all these little pins out. We're going to start with the outer fabric. So this is the piece that hasn't got the foam in there. We just pick up all these little pins. There we go. Tidy as we go. I always do that, but we'll do that today. Okay, so what we're going to do next, so you've now got your base piece. This is the E piece, but you can work with either of these. And what we're going to do is if we turn this over, so I just bring this out, out of the way. So if we turn this now onto the back, so you're looking at the raw, at the wrong side of your fabric, what we're going to do, just as a reminder, is just pop a little mark using your fabric pen a quarter inch away from each corner. So you're working a quarter inch back. You can do this by eye, but of course you can use your ruler if you want to. We've got a nice little ruler there on the, uh, on the ironing mat, which is perfect. So all I've done here is we've just put those little black marks into the corner. Again, these will um, remove when you press them, although they're on the raw edge of the fabric and you won't see them. And the reason that we're doing that is there are a number of ways to attach a base, but I quite like to do it all in one go so you have no no holes in the corners of your project. So what we're doing next with the fabric now that doesn't have the foam and the base that doesn't have the foam, we're popping the square, if you like, in the bottom right hand corner and that's really important. So we're doing that in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to slide two pins through. Now I tend to use my pins as arrows so if I'm doing lots of projects then I remember the side that I'm sewing. What we're going to do is starting at this first pen mark, we're going to insert the needle and then we're sewing to the next pen mark. We'll then remove the pins and we'll pivot the fabric so we sew along the next side. So let me just show you that, how it looks when we're doing this here on the machine. And this is the way that I find that you reduce that gap in each of your corners. So we're sitting the fabric onto the machine lining the needle up with that first pen mark in that bottom right hand corner and we're going to start by reverse stitching. See, let's just find the pedal. So we're going to start by reverse stitching again using that quarter inch seam and we're then going to sew to that second pen mark. When we get to the second pen mark we're not worrying about reverse stitching but we do want to leave our needle inserted into that second pen mark. We're now going to remove the pins. So I've left the pins there and what you'll notice whenever I sew is I always leave my pins a good inch back or a good half an inch back and that's so the needle doesn't come into contact with them. But I want the needles to remain in place to stop any movement in the fabric. So I've raised in the foot. So let me just bring that back. We're now inserting the needle in that second pen mark. We're raising the foot and as we bring the bottom square towards us, naturally that will align with the raw edge of the fabric. We're going to push those pins back through. Again, remembering to leave a good thumb space, a good inch from the raw edge so the needle doesn't come into contact when we're sewing in a moment. But by leaving the needle, uh, by leaving the pins in place, it means that there's going to be no movement on the fabric. We're now sewing to that third black mark. When we get to the third black mark, we're going to repeat the same. Make sure our needle's inserted, remove those pins, lift up the presser foot and bring the bottom corner around and align that again with this raw edge. It might take a little bit of fiddling around, but we're just making sure that even in the corner, it's along the raw edge at the bottom. We're going to slide those pins back through all layers, securing those into position and making sure as I've said, we've got that good inch from the raw edge here. So your thumb's not coming into line with those. Drop your presser foot. And again, we're sewing now to that fourth black line, that fourth black dot. We stop when we get to that black mark, leave the needle inserted and repeat what we've just done on those other three sides, raising your presser foot. And again, we're bringing this across. Now, naturally, if you've used that quarter inch, this will now line up with that bottom corner now and that's really important so we're making sure that this lines up with that bottom corner holding those fabrics tight and sliding the pin in for the last time so sliding your two pins through all layers 
until we get to that last black mark, the original black mark that we started with. And again, as we started, we started with a reverse stitch and we're going to finish with a reverse stitch. So as soon as you see it come into contact with that first mark, we're going to reverse stitch just in the corner. And this will prevent any holes in each of your corners here. We're just going to remove those pins, those pins, those pins even. And then what you can see here is you've just got this little opening now. So you've got your bottom on there. You've got no holes there in your bottom. And again, if you look on the inside, you've got those perfect corners as well on the inside. The next thing we're going to do, and if I pop this flat on the table so you can see, is we want to make sure that our pockets are lining up. So with the pocket flat on the table, we're going to rest the second pocket on. So we're making sure they're lining up on the top of the pocket. And then finally, we put in that last layer there. I always start with pinning through the binding because then you know that you've got a nice finish there on the binding. Slide in a few pins. Again, leave your pins far enough back. That's it, I'm hiding the pins from myself. That's a good start. <laughs> Having a little game of hide and seek here. Okay, so you can see here when you look that your um, pocket's lining up and that you've got your corner as well. So what we're going to do now is sit this back onto the machine, starting in that bottom corner, lining it up with the side of the machine foot, using that quarter inch and start with a reverse stitch. So right on that corner here, start with your reverse stitch. If you've got any joining threads, just take a moment to remove those. I can see I've got a little one caught around my foot. So just take a moment to remove those threads if that happens. And then we're sewing along. Now because I've got the, um, the pin right on the pocket here, I'm going to stop and remove the pin. I'm just going to hold that fabric so I can feel it through the fabric, making sure that there's no movement in that binding. And I'm sewing all the way along the raw edge until I get to the top. And again, I'm going to reverse stitch. And that gives us, so let's just have a little look. This is when you really see your project coming together. And if we turn this out, you can see now that we've got the outer part of our bag. You've still got your pen marks on here. You can take these off at this stage if you want to, or you can come back to them. Take a moment to remove all your joining threads. But you can see here as well on that pocket because we stopped, you've got that lovely, you know, you've got that lovely finish there on that pocket as well. So we're going to pop this to one side for now and we'll do all the pressing together. So I tend to repeat what I'm doing in patterns and do everything as a little bit of a production line so it speeds up the project and also the enjoyment of sewing your project together. Now we're going to repeat the same, this time for the foam, but this time we need to add the foam bottom. So as we did in, with the lining, let's just turn this around. So this is your H piece if you're doing the contrasting fabric. We're popping this in this bottom right hand corner as well. And this is your K piece which I've actually already marked up. So we've got your K piece here and I've already popped these little black marks just on the corners, the same as I did with the previous part that we did. Now what's really important here is that you're making sure that not only are your bottoms matching up, but also all of your layers are matching up. So it's really important you take a little more time here. And again, we're going to pop those pins through. Now I am going to leave a little more space away from the raw edge, because what you'll find when you're working with foam is there isn't much movement in there. So we've got that nice gap at the bottom that we haven't got to worry about removing. And we're simply going to repeat those stages. So sitting this under your machine, you may need to raise your presser foot at this stage just to get all those layers of foam. We're dropping the presser foot on top, starting at that first black mark or purple, I think I used on this pen. Got a nice little bit of color going on there. We're going to start with a reverse stitch, which this machine does for me automatically, which is very exciting. Always nice when there's a new little uh, a new little accessory on a machine. So we're now sewing to that second mark. We stop at that second mark. And I would definitely recommend that you do 
the panel first without the foam because you get your head around how to manoeuvre the fabrics before you start sewing with your foam. This time you may need to rest that presser foot to tease this around and you'll notice as you bring this towards you, you can see the stability that you've got there by using the foam. Now take a moment to align the fabric first. So once you've got the fabric in line with the bottom, we then pop the foam on the top. Because again, at this stage, it's very easy to, to forget about that piece of fabric that's in, sandwiched in between and end up with a gap, which is what we really don't want. And it's also very important to make sure your fabric is on this edge here too. Because sometimes if it's not pulled out or into position, it can move. So again, we're going to drop the presser foot, take your time and sew to that third pen mark. Again, using that quarter inch seam. Stop when you get to the pen mark, remove those pins, raise your presser foot. And again, you might need to lift this just because of how thick your foam is there. And as you bring it, it naturally lines up with the bottom as well. And it gives you that nice finish on your corners, as you can see just here. So we're lining that fabric up again with the bottom. We're bringing the foam on top. And I would definitely recommend doing that individually. Pop your first pin in. Again, remembering to leave that thumb space so you haven't got to worry about removing your pin and moving the fabric. Make sure your fabric's in place and slide that second pin through. Drop your presser foot and then we're sewing to that fourth purple dot. Stop at that point. If you've gone a little bit too far, which I can see I've done here, you can just raise your needle and bring your needle back if, ne if you need to. Lift up your presser foot, remove your pins, and then we're going to repeat just on that end here. Tease your foot up if needs be. And what you should find is happening here is that these fabrics all meet in the corner. You can tease this out if you need to a little bit. You might find that you need to, but we're making sure that all these corners are now matching up with that original first corner that we did here. And I would slide in an extra pin, making sure those layers here are brought together just like that. And again, making sure all your raw edges and that your pin is, as I've said, a good thumb space back. Drop your presser foot and we're going to sew that last corner just here. When you get to the corner, it's really important at this stage to prevent any holes in your corner that you reverse stitch. Now take your time just in this corner because you've got all that extra fabric plus your foam and then we're going to remove this from your machine. And you can see now when we start to remove these pins just how sturdy this bag is and how beautiful this stage is here. So it is a nice easy bag to follow the steps through. You're simply repeating what you've done on your lining or your outer fabric as you are with your foam. But I would definitely recommend starting your project, especially if it's your first time working with foam, if you start with a section that hasn't got the foam in. And again, just to show you what I did here, make sure you can see where your pocket is. Line up your second pocket. Got a little bit of extra fabric just there. Just need to grab a pair of scissors. Not spoil the displays. That's it. And then we're lining up this pocket. So tease that pocket out. So you're making sure the binding is sitting on top of the binding. And it's always worth pinning that section first. Bringing your next fabric across the top and then you foam. So take your time with this because this is definitely the stage here where you could end up with a little hole and it's worth just taking a, a moment more to avoid that. And we'll go back around in a moment and remove all these extra threads. Here just pop in a few extra pins just because you're working with that beautiful foam and it's quite sturdy. Make sure all your raw edges here are lining up and that you've got no puckers in your fabric. And then we're going to repeat that stage. And we're starting in this bottom corner, reverse stitching and sewing to the top. So sitting that under your machine, remember you can raise that foot if you need to get the thickness of your foam through. So start with your reverse stitch. I love that that machine does this. 
the fire machine doesn't do that. And then take that pin out when you get to your pocket because your pins won't move. And because the pocket pin we've put a little closer to the seam. And again, we're just removing this pocket here. And we're simply reverse stitching just at the top. And this really, that reverse stitch there at the top just makes it easier when we come to put all those extra layers in. If, like me, you have got a little bit of fabric here that's overhanging, now's the time to just trim that away. Although it seems very minimal, it's worth just doing that at this stage. And again, following your project around and removing any ribbons and trims that you've perhaps got overhanging here. OK, so we've got the lining part of our bag with all your lovely little pockets in there. And then we've got the outer part of our bag. And it's important that they now look like this. So as you turn over your inside of your bag, we'll come back onto there. Then we're going to slide this over the top. And what we want to do is this seam that you've got here, we also want to work with that on the lining as well. So you're lining up the seams and we're sitting this over the top. I haven't removed the pen marks, but you could take a moment at this stage to remove the pen marks. And you'll find it's much easier to push that bag inside your lining here. Just make sure that bottom corner's out. and you'll see that it sits just over the top. And when you start putting the weight of your projects into your fabrics, any sagging that you might have in there will be removed as well. So the first part that we're going to work with, and at this stage I would definitely recommend working with either pins or certainly your clips. I personally prefer to work with clips at this stage. And what we want to do here is just make sure both of those seams are lining up. And we're going to pop a clip or a pin if you're working with your pins onto that corner to start with. So you can see those seams, not sure whether you can see that there, but you are seeing those that are lining up just in the corner. Really push out these bags, so take a moment to push out those corners because what we need to happen here to get this beautiful finish is that all these raw edges are now lining up. So as we push this in, and what I would recommend here is just bring your bag out so you're getting your two furthest points and then start pinning or clipping whichever you prefer at this stage here. And then again on your opposite two corners. And this is just distributing your fabric equally around the top. And you can use as many or as few pins here as you like. If you're new to working with foam, then I would definitely say you can't have enough pins or clips at this stage because this makes finishing the top part of your bag much easier. So now we've worked on the four opposite sides and we're just going to continue to turn the bag around and clip all of those top layers into place. And now you could jump straight in and put your binding on but I definitely recommend this next stage and that is just to give this either a straight stitch or a zigzag and that will really hold all those layers so you're not having to work really hard to get your binding to line up. And again in your kits there's enough fabric there for you to decide which fabric you want as your top binding. You'll notice in um, my Riley Blake bag that again like the binding I like to work with the contrasting fabric because I think it really makes your projects pop. So we've got quite a lot of clips on there. Again, you can put as few or as many as you like. And what we're going to do now is to just slide off the side of the machine. And you can use a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch at this stage. But if you just slide this onto your machine, and you're just going to sew, I'm going to work with a straight stitch for now. And you're just simply sewing around the top of the bag to secure those fabrics together. And it takes a few extra moments, but it will certainly save a lot of time when you come in to pop your binding on. So by just sliding the bag onto the side of the machine, using your quarter inch seam, we're just allowing this to sew around and through all three layers to bring those together neatly.
And then all we've got left to do to finish this project is to add the binding and the handles and we can start filling it with all our lovely notions and start our next project. So just take your time to keep bringing this around. Takes a little while to get used to working with foam, but I love the stability that it offers, especially if you want something sturdy to stand on your sewing table and secure all your collections. Or if you like going to classes as well, this is a perfect accessory to carry to and from classes. And this is really where this design came from. Um, originally it was from running lots of classes and people wanted something different than the carrier bag that they turned up with to start with. I'm sure probably like me, you start with lots of small bits and it grows and grows. So this is the perfect accessory. You've got your little pockets on your outside here. You've got that lovely zigzag stitch to showcase, that beautiful binding. You're repeating that inside. When you, what you'll notice is when you start to put your notions in there, that will sit nice and um, securely inside. And all we've got left to do now is to attach that binding like on the one that I showed you at the beginning. So we're gonna keep that nice and simple. There's lots of ways in which that you can do your binding, but we're gonna keep it nice and simple. So using your binding strip, which is your D strip, this was the piece that was a little longer than your pocket binding with the wrong side of the fabric facing up towards you. Let's just clear a little space. Let's just shuffle these out of the way. What we're going to do first of all is on one of the shortest raw edges, and it doesn't matter which one, we're simply going to fold that over about half an inch and just press that just to finish the binding. And I'll show you why that's so important in a little while. We're then folding the binding in half to create that center seam. So we're going to press along that full length of the top binding to create that centre seam. And then going back to where we started, we're now simply going to bring the raw edges into your centre seam on both sides. You can do this together or you can do it side by side. It's entirely up to yourself. But this will just give us that nice little finish there. And this will just sit over the top of your layers now to complete the bag before we pop your handles on. And just do that along the full length, making sure those raw edges are sitting on that centre seam. And what this will do is distribute that binding equally on the inside and the outside of your bag as well. And just to finish that binding here, we're then going to fold this in half and press for the last time. A bit like you do if you were making a bag handle. So you've got one side with your raw edge and then you've got one side that's got your little um, fold over on the edge. So starting anywhere, and I would always encourage you to avoid starting in the corner of a project. It just makes life so much easier. And this is where you'll see that this stage here where you've sewn and secured the layers together will really help so you're not fighting trying to keep all those layers together. We're starting with a raw edge and I'm going to work on one of the, one of the sides but just away from the corner. And we're simply folding this over the top. We've already scored this so this section here will be nice and easy. This here is so helpful if you've got your quilting clips. You can of course use your pins, it just takes a little while longer. And we're simply going to rotate the bag. And again, you can't have enough pins at this stage. It really helps secure that binding into position. You can see here on the inside that it complements that lovely fabric. But in a moment when I start to turn the bag, you'll see how it really makes that outer fabric pop as well because you've got that lovely floral just sitting on the top. But of course you could, you could cut your fabric slightly different if you wanted to. And you could have colour on colour on the outside. But the wonderful thing about this project that I don't think that I've mentioned yet is it's fully reversible as well. So you can have both of these shown at different times. Now when I pop the handles on in a little while, the handles you can choose can go on the outside or the inside and I'm sure in your little collections you've got some buttons that you've been waiting for a special occasion. So again I'll show you where to use those buttons and expose those buttons. And you can see now how lovely this is with that lovely contrast with that pocket fabric as well. 
And of course, you've got your lovely zigzag stitch. I've got a bit of a wiggly zigzag stitch going on there. Okay, so now we're coming back to where we started. You've got enough fabric there to overlap. We're going to clip the fabric over the top. And as we just release that first clip, if you've got a little bit here like I have overhanging, it's absolutely fine to trim that little triangle away. I'm going to do that on both sides actually, just for a need to finish. So I've just trimmed that away so you've almost got a little V here. And as you overlap just there, make sure your binding is all lining up on the inside and outside. Just take a moment to do that. Perhaps pop in a little extra clip there. And what we're going to do now is to just pop this on the machine and use a zigzag stitch to sew along that binding. You could stitch in the ditch here if you wanted to, um, but I quite like using a decorative stitch here and also encouraging you to look at the stitches that you've got on your machine that you've been wondering why you, you know, what reason you would have to use them. This is the perfect reason to use them. So what we're going to do now is to just drop this onto the side of the machine, set up the machine to a zigzag stitch. I am going to lengthen the stitch here so it really captures both sides. So I'm increasing the stitch length to the widest that it will go on my machine here. Sliding this onto the machine, just removing that first clip, sitting it in position. And what's really important at this stage here is that the center of your foot is lining up with your binding. All of these pictures are shown in your instructions as well, showing you exactly where to sit um, your foot on the machine. So you haven't got to worry about remembering. So we're simply just going to do that wide zigzag stitch all around the top of the bag to secure that into place. And I'm going with a nice wide zigzag here. When you got, get to the little part that's overlapping, just take a moment to make sure both raw edges are lining up and take your pin away. That's it. Just continue to bring your fabric to you and sew across that binding, keeping this nice and tight at this stage. And go in one clip at a time. And it really is worth taking your time here so you haven't got to worry about hand stitching any binding at a later stage. You can see that I'm holding on both the front and the back of the bag and that's because this is quite thick and I want to keep that binding nice and tight. And each time I'm just removing a few clips. I'm just continuing to bring the bag towards you each time it moves. And we're almost back to the beginning, so I'm just going to stop and remove these joining threads so they're not getting tangled up when I sew this last little section here. And we can take this off the machine now, trim away those extra threads, and you can see just by adding that zigzag stitch, you've made sure that you've secured the binding on the inside as well as the outside, but of course, you've got that nice decorative zigzag on the outside of your bag. And all that's left to do, you can choose here as well, so these would make nice little tidies for your home. So you could put handles on or you can leave the handles off, it's entirely up to yourself, but I'm going to show you how to attach the handles that come in your kit as well. So I've gone for a nice vibrant pink to really make the flowers in the Liberty Fabrics pop. And what we want to do is just pinch on the fold of the fabric here using your ruler, <coughs> excuse me, let's just do this. If in fact, if I show you where you've got to put that crease in, so where you haven't naturally got your seam, if you just pinch from the bottom to the top and just create that corner, then from this corner here, we're going to sit. So if I sit this on the table and we're simply measuring an inch from the corner, let me just change the ruler around, an inch from the corner, an inch from the top, and if we just mark up this section here, and if I turn the bag and I do it on the opposite side as well, so we'll pop our markings on one side in place. 
and you can see there that we've got those two black marks. What we're going to do with the handles is just fold the raw edge of the handle. Let me just bring this down here. Fold that up about an inch. You can measure it if you want to. Sit that in line with your pen. And if you, in fact, if you sit the raw edge in line with your binding, naturally as you bring that up, that tucks that pen, that tucks that um, handle into place nice and easy. Now you will need to use a pin to secure your handle into place at this stage. So just push that pin through all of your layers. And again, we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So fold that raw edge over, make sure there's no twists in your handle. Fold that raw edge over by an inch. You can measure this, line the raw edge. So if I just show you that stage here, line the raw edge with your binding, fold it up to the top. And we're going to slide a pin. Where have I put my little box of pins? Here they are. <laughs> Having a nice little game of hide and seek with myself today. And there isn't that much out on the desk, which is unusual for me. It's normally filled. So we've popped those handles into position on the one side. As we turn it around, we're popping these onto the other side as well. Now your handles come in your kit so it's a full length. You could, if you wanted to, just have one longer handle. It's entirely up to yourself. So we're simply going to repeat that in the corner, marking up that little line here. So an inch from the top, an inch from the side, raw edge of the handle, lining this up with a binding and then just pinning through all those layers. And really push that through to secure that into place. And we're going to repeat that now on the last corner, a few little threads there just hanging on. Always worth going around your project right at the end for any extra thread you might have missed. I always tend to miss a few. So I'm just marking this fourth and final corner, making sure there's no twists in your handle, folding that raw edge over by an inch. Of course, you could measure it and then bringing this across and lining it up there with that corner. And you can see there that we've got this beautiful little bag. I'm going to pop this on the machine and just show you how to sew one of those little corners there and um, show you how that bag finishes up. So again we're going to slide the side of the machine away, sliding this under your machine. Now of course you're working with foam so you've got lots of twisting and moving to do. It's worth taking your time and not rushing this. You could hand sew this part on if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do, in fact if I just draw this on so you can see, so I'm simply, you could put a cross in here if you want to, but I'm simply just popping a square onto there. If I just show you that, I'm hoping that you can see that there. So I'm just sewing around that square to secure it into place. Make sure any of these raw edges are just tucked, tucked away inside. Slide your handle under your machine and sit your needle. If you feel you need that pen mark, just as a reminder, sit your needle onto the machine on that black block and we're gently going to sew. Let's just return to a straight stitch, that would be very helpful. And we're sewing to that first corner. When we get to the first corner we're simply going to stop, leave that needle inserted, raise the foot and then bring the caddy towards us. There is a pin in there which I'm now going to move because that pin won't move with you. Make sure that it's not going to come into contact with your sewing machine needle. I've got to that second corner now, I'm raising the foot and I'm going to push the bag each time under the machine. So it's worth taking a moment for this stage. Make sure that there's nothing caught under here and then we're sewing across to the next stage. So we're going across to number three, dropping that presser foot. And finally, we're going to turn the bag one more time just to come around back to the other side and you'll find it's easier on this section because we're moving that bag out of the way. Drop your foot and just to finish where I started I'm going to sew back to the middle of that square there and just reverse stitch. And as we bring that off the machine we've got that handle nicely secured. We're going to take away all those little threads and you can see now how quickly 
and how easy this bag comes together simply by repeating a lot of the same stages, the same stages when you're doing your pockets, on the lining and on the outside. And there you have it, you've got your little craft caddy, so we've got your two caddies here. So you've got your little caddies that you can fill with all your little sewing notions, take to your classes or carry to your sewing area. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye now. Kerry, we can't wait to have you here in the studio. Thank you so, so much for that amazing demo. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Can't wait to get filling them with lots of goodies. Such beautiful, beautiful kits and such an amazing demo. So thank you so much to, uh, for Kerry for filming that and uh, coming in um, and filming it for us. It was, it, I know, I haven't even met Kerry yet. Uh, Kat was, was filming that and Joe was uh, directing. Hannah, you weren't here either, were you? We can't wait to meet Kerry. She's see, oh, just so, so lovely. So thank you very, very much. We are really, really excited about these kits and I'm so pleased that you love them all. Uh, I've got to give you a bit of a stock update. Oh, by the way, yes. <laughs> Sorry. It's lemon water with a little strawberry. We were watching uh, Kerry's demo in style this morning with, um, yeah. We thought, Kerry's one of our new ladies, so we wanted to do a cheers to, to Kerry, our new addition to the uh, Sewing Street family. So we had the telly on in the office and we've been uh, having our lemon water in the, yeah, with our, I did bring strawberries and I was like, we've got to put strawberries on it. Hannah couldn't find any ordinary glasses. So we're like, yeah, we'll have lemon water out of flutes, champagne flutes. I think we enjoy our job a bit too much, don't you? <laughs> um, anyway, should we have a bit of a recap on the kits because I know how popular they've been. I'm going to start with the Liberties, which are gorgeous. And did anybody notice uh, Kerry's dress? Riley Blake, Riley Blake. <sighs> Let's start with Liberty number one, which is the one that you've seen uh, the demo made, uh, made out of. You do need to search the code, just remember, on the website. It comes all beautifully presented, literally wrapped with loveliness. Uh, this time, remember, this is the colour where you're getting, the blue webbing, the cotton webbing, plus your instructions, your bosal, and half a metre of each of your fabrics. They are Liberty cotton, uh, quilting weight cottons. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful caddy for 39.99. Oh, just so you know, limited is a bit of an understatement. We've got four left, four left. So if you know you, you do feel, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna struggle to find out on the website. Either type in the code on the, uh, the products on the search bar at the top, or call the customer service team, 0800 001 4433 if you want to call them on the customer service line number at the bottom of the screen. There's three of those remaining. Kerry, they're gorgeous. I always know the one that's demonstrated is always very, very popular. It's lovely, isn't it? And wrapped so beautifully. Liberty option two. So Alan, who, who works a, a part of our sister channel, jewelry maker, because Alan was talking about his wife who absolutely adores Liberty straight away. We said, you're right, you're right, Alan. It was just watching Kerry's demo like quite intently. He was like, that's Liberty fabric, isn't it? He said, it's 40 pounds. He said, I was looking for Christmas presents for my wife in Liberty prints. He says, the only thing that I managed to get her was um, a, a notebook cover. He said, because everything else, everything else was so expensive. I said, right, we need to sort you a, a caddy out. I know she sews as well, so one of these kits would be brilliant. Um, let's do, you weren't there, you weren't there. Cat was there, it happened. Hannah, Hannah, you were in the kitchen, you weren't there. <laughs> so. Sorry, I didn't mean to just roll my eyes at Hannah and Telly. <laughs> We've got to that point at lockdown now, haven't we? <laughs> Half a metre of each of your Liberty prints. Also, your, um, your instructions and your pattern pieces, your webbing and your bosal. There are less than 15 chances of getting this colourway. Less than 15 at 39.99. That's option two. Option one, Liberty's down to one left. Option two, you still got chances at the moment. There's about 15 of those left. Well done, everybody. I'm excited to see them as well on the uh, on the Facebook fan page. On the Facebook fan page, would be lovely. I haven't picked my make of the week yet. I need to do that today. Still got time to get involved if you post your images. The, right, the Liberty option one, this one, has now sold out. Well done if you got that. Option two is the only other Liberty option. There's nine of those now remaining. That will sell out also. Uh, let's do Riley Blake. 
I must say, this is one that you saw at the beginning of the VT, which um, there's only seven. I'm going to go as far as saying it's my favourite. I love this. Seven of these left. It's been very, 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 very busy this morning. I love the colour of the webbing straps. This print is just stunning, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Half a metre of each of your contrasting fabrics. And then the lovely contrasting this time in the green fabric. Uh, and your bows all foam giving you that lovely structure. There's nothing worse than if you've got a bag that sort of just collapses on itself. You're gonna be able to find everything, especially as you've got all these lovely pockets on the inside and on the outside. And I suppose you can do it which way you want, can't you? You can reverse it around which way you want. Um, so half a meter each of the fabric, your webbing, your instructions and uh, your bozo. That's option one, Riley Blake. Type in the item code on the website or speak to the customer service team and ask for option one, Riley Blake. Option two, Riley Blake, your item code number is PCL152. And when we open up the lovely tissue paper, which is exactly how it's gonna be presented to you at home, 39 pounds, 99 pence. These are your two contrasting colors, two contrasting Riley Blake designer quilting weight fabrics, your bozo. You also have your lovely instruction set. Very, very clear, very, very thorough indeed. Uh, and of course, don't forget, jot down today's date when you get it home and you're ready to make it, watch the show back. Carrie covered everything then in that demo. So it's definitely worth watching the show back. So along at home, so along at home on YouTube. Uh, and you're getting a lovely bright colour webbing, which is gorgeous, that lovely pink. Went very, very well with uh, your nails, Kerry. 39.99. Okay. You're very good at painting your nails during lockdown. I'm so bad at it. I, I have to, every time I'm on air, I'm like, so sorry about the state of my nails. Uh, okay. So, they're the four kits. Check out as soon as you can. The first one sold out. Everything else is now incredibly limited. We're verging on less than 10 of each of them. So, uh, the kit that we launched on Thursday last week the 21st if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, let me just take this out of the box. There's one bundle remaining. Which is the bundle that's remaining? The Liberty. Let me move this one out of the way. Uh, you can make the other bits and bolts, which I'll show you, but the colourway, the Liberty colourway, this is the one that you're getting. So, in here you have your instructions, all of your patterns to make, both your lotus bag, your Linda Lotus bag, your pretty patchwork pencil case, and your accessory roll. Plus, you'll also get these as well to make your bags and your bunting. $29.99, that's brilliant value just for your instructions and your patterns. You also get all of these beautiful, beautiful Liberty prints. All four Liberty prints. So you get two sets of instructions, you can make three projects with the fabric that's given and the rest you can use your stash. So uh, let me show you the finished pieces. So you've got your lovely little, your lovely little lotus bag. You've got your, this is exactly what oh, everybody I recommend should make one of these during lockdown because whether you're an artist for your paintbrushes, if you're a crochet for your crochet hooks, knitting needles, uh, your tools or your marking tools, makeup brushes, there's so much the, these are so versatile, uh, you could just make loads and loads of these. For picnics, for your cutlery, they're lovely. And such, such a beautiful fabric. Plus also, little pocket, whether you're keeping your EPP bits in there on the move, your pencil case, uh, the bags as well. Remember, it is gonna be in the Liberty colorway, but there's your bag. Do we know where the bun bunting is? I'm not sure where the bunting is, but also the bunting as well. Kerry, if you're watching, we do know where it is. Um, it just is misplaced right now. Uh, but we do know where it is. It's in that safe place. You only put things in a safe place. Keys to Hannah's window, she's never found. How long have you lived there now? You put... Two years she's not opened the window. 29.99, look at how many beautiful, beautiful fabrics you're getting as well. Remember, all four of those Liberty prints will come included as well as all of your instructions and patterns. Uh, PWL167 is your item code number. Do search the code on the website or speak to the customer service team. Just wanted to offer that as it was very, very busy. Oh, top tips from John Cole Morgan. Ah! 
Right, we'll get loads of top tips from John Cole Morgan as it's his birthday tomorrow, his birthday show. Are you all right, Kat? Uh, yeah. yeah. All of the caddies are now down to single figures. All the caddies. <laughs> Do you know what? We're really excited about these top tips from John Cole Morgan. So... Do make sure you get your birthday messages in for him because it's his birthday show tomorrow. <laughs> we did never get to hear his top tips. You'll hear them tomorrow. You'll hear them tomorrow. Don't you worry. So, shall we go to break? We need some more of... I think, um, I think Kat's had too much of her uh, lemon water. As it should this morning. Uh, we've got still loads to bring in the next 35 minutes, so stay with us. We're back. Check out your baskets on this and we'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you, because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview channel 74, Sky channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello there, I'm Debbie and this is my brand new Sewing Room Secrets quilting book which is available exclusively signed on Sewing Street right now. So if you haven't seen any of the shows or caught up on YouTube, let me give you a quick flick through because in here I'm going to teach beginner sewers or beginner quilters all about quilting, different types of quilting, different techniques for quilting and for binding your quilts as well. But not necessarily quilts that go on a bed. They're there's a quilted uh, Christmas stocking tutorial, there's a quilted placemat tutorial, a quilted storage hanger tutorial. So very simple achievable products uh, for the beginner quilter to learn how to sew. So you can't buy this anywhere else at the moment. You certainly can't buy it anywhere else even on pre-order with a signed copy, but you can get hold of them right now on Sewing Street while we have the stock. You can order on the website, you can order on the, on the phone lines. I do hope you enjoy it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue, 
by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, we've got a lot to do in the next half an hour, haven't we? We've got a lot to do, starting with uh, these fabrics. Those of you that missed the 8am show, we had so many gorgeous brand new fabrics for you to have a look at on our web shop. These were included, they weren't snuck in until the end. This one, stock update, is now gone. That's sold out. The green sold out, if you want the pink pinstripe, what you need to do is, like with um, Kerry's lovely kit, you need to type in the item code number on the web shop, which is SZLJ46. You can see it there on the top of the, the, uh, the, the graphics. Just wanted to give you a quick flash of this because I know that they're all about sellout. It's 3.99 a half metre. I can see why. It's been very, very popular indeed. Uh, we just wanted to be very quick and show you that these are about to sell out. Um, our price point at 3 dollars is the most affordable pattern fabric that we have uh, by the half meter. It's fantastic value. At 3 dollars there's only four meters of this one left. This is your reds and oranges. Multicolored stripes on a poplin weight cotton for £3.99. They will all sell out. They launch today about nine o'clock. So well done everybody who's managed to get some. Just wanted you to uh, make the most of it before it's gone. Okay. Bundles, 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 bundles. Let me move these out the way. They're gone. Let's do, which bundle first? Let's go for the blue. I've got two blues. I've got a navy blue and I've got a sky blue. Let's do navy first. Half a metre of beautiful spot on navy. Uh, half a metre of this, half a metre of your navy blue and then half a metre of this lovely sky blue. Half a metre of each, you're going to love the price. How good is that? That's like an early bird price, isn't it? Hang on, that is like a super saver price. £9.99 for your Rose and Hubble. Gorgeous navy spot bundle. They all work beautifully together. Um, just £9.99. 0800 if you do want to speak to the customer service team. Right, do I need to type the item code in for this one, Hannah, or is it on the website? On the website, yes. You can find it on our web shop underneath us. So where you're watching us on our, on our page, uh, if you scroll down, then you'll be able to find it past the sewing machine. You'll be able to see this. Half a metre of your poplin, half a metre of your navy blue, and half a metre of that beautiful, beautiful aqua or sky blue. It's lovely, isn't it? Nine pounds, 99. Okay, we've also got the aqua bundle. Aqua with turquoise. That's um, that's just how a cat says turquoise. She didn't even realise it was a strange way of saying it. To be fair, it, it might not be a strange way of saying it. It could just be that I, I say turquoise differently. And it's because she's a lady. She's a lady. She said, turquoise, no. She thinks it's a Midlands thing. She thinks it's a Birmingham thing. <laughs> Meter and a half. Oh, can we open this out so you can see how much you're getting? Um, I know a lot of people who are backing quilts at the moment. I keep seeing on the, the Facebook fan page, a lot of people are talking about backing quilts. If you, uh, obviously this is a poplin weight, so just be aware that this is a lighter weight, but if you do want to do some of these lovely contemporary star blocks, then these go beautifully together. That lovely blue. Sorry, the label. Um, also, you get half a metre of this one as well. Oh, can you see my trainers? My sport shoes, because I'm going for a walk after the show. Put my trainers on this morning. So, half a metre of each of these colours. 
9.99 for half a meter of your aqua spots beautiful colors aren't they and they are 100 percent cotton they're a pop plume weight so they're slightly lighter weight cotton uh but let me show you that is a lot of fabric isn't it it will go a long way that will half a meter of your blues that's your aqua colorway those of you that want to have a bit of a play around with your stripologies We've got stripologists coming up this hour, which would be really, really nice. Well, I say this hour, this time has just flown by today. Um, right, let's do the, what colourway next, Hannah? Pink's coming up next. Pink's coming up next. Let's do uh, pink spot on. It's with a pink and a grey this time. Sorry, just while I'm folding. Do you like the pink and grey mix? I always like a pink and grey mix. Where do you want it, Kat? So, £9.99 again, half a metre of each of these, half a metre of each of your colours, half a metre of your spot on pink, half a metre of your lovely pink, Cerise, and then half a metre of grey. I do like that a lot. I think this would be really, really nice for... Um, I know a lot of people who do toy making as well. They'd be nice for toy making. How does they get a lot about toy making today? £9.99. Maybe it was when you spoke to Alan, you were talking about how his wife makes toys. Um, when I spoke to Alan, I was talking about his Christmas present for his wife was a, a notebook cover for, from Liberty. £9.99. You can't see me scowling at you, can you, Hannah? Nine pounds, 99. <laughs> 9,099 for all three of your Rose and Hubble. So, right, correct me if I'm wrong, are they all Rose and Hubble fabrics? They're all Rose and Hubble fabrics. I think this one's your poplin weight, and if I'm not mistaken, they're your quilting cotton. They're slightly heavier weight, but they all work together really well. They all still work together beautifully. Uh, so that's your pink colorway, Cerise it's called. Coffee, mocha, latte. Oh, these are lovely. These are your tan spots. £9.99. Talking of tan, how is everybody's tan at home? Has everybody been out in the garden doing some gardening? Oh my word, you definitely need a good factor of your sun cream on this week, don't you? It is so hot. £9.99. I'm so jealous of all of our viewers who keep putting gorgeous pictures up of them living at the seaside. Lynn in Cornwall, love your garden. £9.99 metre for your beautiful tan spot. Your beige and your brown, half a metre of each of those. That's a lovely sort of coffee colours. If you got any of the applique alphabet yesterday, you know, like these ones that we had, this colourway, in fact, was the traditional colourway, would look lovely on the, on the, the tan spots bundle. OK. We've also got... Oh, no, we've done them all. We've done them all. We've done them all. Well done. OK. <laughs> We're more efficient than I thought. Let's do stripology. Can I go for the big one? Um, so this is my absolute favourite creative grid ruler. It's, I'm going to put, um, I am just going to put one of these under it very, very quickly so you can see um, the markings. I won't cut into this, but I just want you to see the markings. So, Creative Grids are fantastic. There are lots of rulers out there, um, but what I love about Creative Grids is, number one, they're the safety. Um, when you're working with a rotary blade, those of you that are slightly nervous about working with blades, uh, it, it, they do really think about your safety. They, they're, they're designed by quilters, so they, they know everything that you're, you're going to need to, to, to have on a ruler. So every single... Uh, inch or half inch increment has got a slit running all the way up the ruler so can you see that in between every single one of these you've got your non-slip grip which isn't stuck on it's absolutely built in it's a frosted part throughout the ruler between every single one of those slots you have that non-slip grip which is brilliant yes for safety but also fantastic because it means that you're not having to reposition your ruler it's not going to be slipping and sliding all over the place it you can still glide it over your fabric but once you adhere the pressure that is when those non-slip uh, grip 
rips, engage, and it will just stay where it is on the fabric, which is brilliant but without leaving any sticky residue on your fabrics. So you've got your half inch increments all the way along. You've then also got your uh, inch increments as you can see going through here. It has got the turnaround feature, which we see with all of the Creative Grid rulers. I will explain to you that in a bit. So the great thing about the extra large stripology ruler is it's the two most popular stripology rulers in one, the original stripology and the squared stripology. So if I turn it round, you can see then, can you see you've got your squares? So for squaring up your blocks in full inch in black and in half inch in white. So plenty to be going here. Also, what they've added with the XL stripology is extra dashed lines to the end of the marking. So if you're having to do, I'm going to spin it round. If you're having to do something that's got a more intricate measurement, for example, a two and three quarter inch, you can line that up to the dash line and you can still carry on cutting very quickly and very accurately. So what I love about it is the size. You are going to need a big cutting mat. Mine was a bit too small for it. You will need a, a bigger cutting mat than your ruler, uh, just so you're aware. If you have got a big cutting mat, you are going to make life so much easier when you're cutting your fabrics. If you want to do, for example, if you want to do um, 100 or two, a, a pattern calls for 200 two inch squares. You're thinking, oh my word, cutting that is going to take ages. It doesn't. It actually reduces about 70% of your cutting time, it said on the, uh, the packet. So I've got a fat quarter here, but even if you're cutting, cutting your full meterage, your full half meterage, you can go across the whole of the width of your fabric um, without actually having to reposition it. Just for time, I'm just using a fat quarter as this is what was in our stash. Just got to make sure you're lined up with um, a straight line on your cutting mat to square off your fabric, which I always recommend you do, even if it's cut off the bolt, it might be a slightly skew whiff sometimes. Line it up um, with the bottom. There's a really lovely solid black line that you can line it up with. Your first cut, as long as you're straight along the top, your first cut will always be on your zero line. So there's teardrops at the bottom where your rotary cutter can fit into and you can simply make a cut very accurately, very safely. Now, I'm going to do two inch strips. You have got a key of one and a half and two and a half, so you don't even have to do the maths. You can follow the key. If you, your pattern calls for two and a half inch strips, as no, a lot do, just follow the squares and keep cutting. I'm going to go for two inch. Two inch, because I know my two, two times table. Two, four, <laughs> not going to lie, it's a big day. Two, four, six, eight, and you can carry on cutting along the whole of your ruler all of your fabric extremely quickly and as I say very very accurately so I've got all of my two inch strips oops and then going there you go they're all two inch strips I'm going to open one out and this is the great thing about stripology is that so I'm just going to keep one of them if you have got your two inch strip you can then sub cut them of course I should have given this a press I'm going to pick one that's a bit less um, creased if you're cutting these, imagine then, of course, you can reposition, you can put all of your strips like this and you can subcut into your two inch squares. Your pattern calls for loads of squares, you can layer up your fabric as much as you want. You can cut uh, diamonds, in fact, let's do diamonds. So if I put that on my 60 degree line, there's a 60 degree here and there's a 45 degree line. So you can do equilateral triangles, you can do uh, 60 degree diamonds, which is what I'm gonna do. Place that again on here. Um, and then my strips there, line it up with your 60 degree line. I'm doing this quite quickly for speedy, speedy. I'm going to then always again cut at the zero and then I'm going to keep with my two inch. Two, four, is everybody doing the um, six, eight? Who do we appreciate? Just for time, I'm not going to carry on but There's your diamonds. Very quickly and very easily, I've cut all of my diamonds. I'm then going to take a diamond, and if you think you could do these all at the same time, I'm going to line this up onto my 
Mm, five. Let's just go on five because you've got. You can see you've got the line a bit clearer on the television screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up on the five-inch line, and I'm going to cut an inch either side. An inch here, five. So I'm going to do six, and I'm going to do four. And under here, hexes. So you can cut triangles, diamonds, hexes. Strips, honestly, this ruler is my favorite. It isn't something that, of course, it's a bit of an investment, but actually the amount that you will use from it and the results you get from it are fantastic. I was a bit overwhelmed the first time that I saw them because you see a lot of dashes, a lot of lines, but actually they're all there to help you and they're all there to speed up your cutting process. £61.99, it's my favorite ruler from Creative Grid. Can't recommend that enough. And I know that so many people have made incredible, spectacular quilts from having that precision. From having that precision, you do get incredible results. Um, have a look on the Creative Grid website because all of the rulers come with different demonstrations. There's loads online on YouTube. There's loads on Pinterest. The reason they're called Creative Grids is because you can get creative. You're not just limited to one thing per ruler. There's so much that you can do. £61.99, a huge advocate of those. Okay, so which one should we do next? Let's do, oh yeah, I did mention that it, it does make life so much easier. I desperately want this cutting mat. And do you know what? Even if you haven't got the workspace to keep it out, store it under the sofa, store it under the bed, store it flat uh, and it will last the test of time. But it, it definitely, definitely helps having a larger ruler. Lucy, um, who's one of our presenters over at Jewelry Maker, bought one of these. I know that it is a, a great ruler, very versatile, uh, sorry, mat. Still talking about rulers, mats. Um, but what I love about it is the space that you have cutting all size blocks you can we often have our sewing machine on here as well and our you know pressing mat over here you've got your workspace set up without having to wiggle a mat further forward as you're cutting if you imagine you've got your fabric and you've got a ruler over the top of it and your mats underneath you're doing your cutting and you realize ah I'm at the end of my cutting mat I can't actually carry on cutting anymore because I'm going to cut into my dining room table, cut into the floor. You need your work surface. You do need the biggest uh, mat that your space will allow. You've got those important angles. Like I said, you could do 60 degree diamonds, 45 degree, 30 degree. It is double sided and it is self healing. So you've got metric and imperial measurements on here, plus all of your key um, angles. Self-healing as well, so it is going to last. $37.99. That's included in your one PMP. I found that amazing. Uh, because it's quite weighty, as you can imagine. It's lovely quality. It's an awkward shape sort of to deliver, isn't it? But it's going to be delivered to you with one postage and packaging still at a flat rate, £3.95. <laughs> okay. The cutting mat that I use, the ro the rotary cutter. The rotary cutter that I use here, this is John Cole Morgan's. Favourite. Remember, it's his birthday tomorrow. Get your messages in for him. Um, this is his favourite rotary cutter. We all have different personal preferences. Um, and I'm very, very happy to sit and talk about the Alpha ones, the Millwood ones, the Clover ones. They all are fantastic quality. And at £12.99, um, this is one of the best in terms of price as well. Every time you're using your rotary cutter, be obviously very, very aware that the blade is extremely, extremely sharp. Don't be scared of them because they will make life a lot easier and give you some really great precise cutting. But do always remember once you finish cutting to use that safety blade. Uh, they are 45 millimeter rotary blades, which are sort of standard actually. You can replace them with most 45 millimeter blades. Cushion handle, nice cushion grip on them, and it's £12.99. Always get one with a lock, always just get one with a lock. We'll always bring uh, ones on air that have got that lock, that safety feature. And left handers, right handers, it is uh, one that you can actually use as a left hander or a right hander. £12.99. I've got some rectangular rulers. Now, can I go for the big one? Uh, in fact, let me show you both of these so you can see the difference. The first one that I ever bought was this one. Let's start with eight and a half and we'll then come to six and a half. 
it's really, really personal preference. I know so many people that are now, you know, buying multiple rulers. It's brilliant for that. I could show it on the um, on the camera if you prefer, Cat. So what I'll do is I'll open this out so you can see the markings again. Right. So if I spin it this way, let me show you that turnaround feature again. So you have your one to eight inch increments running along the bottom in white and then running up the side again. You've got your non-slip grip all throughout. You've got all of those little frosted circles throughout the whole of the ruler. Plus you've got the frosting, which is a perfect quarter of an inch as well, which is a useful handy little mark to have. The, the increments are going all the way along the ruler. So that's your full inch. This is what I love about Creative Grid. They've thought of everything. I spin it round. The bottom, there's your half inch, half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, six, seven, and so on. Um, and then going up the side, again, you've got all of your half inch. So white is your full inch, black is your half inch increments. And you can see them very, very clearly throughout the ruler. £31.99, that's your eight and a half by 24 and a half inch uh, ruler. They're great, useful sizes to have when you're working with half meterage. Brilliant to have if you're working with your angles as well. You've got your 45. I uh, believe you've also got a 60 degree angle on here. Yep. And a 30 degree angle as well. £31.99. They all have this little QR reader. Your QR reader, which will take you to great demonstrations. They will talk to you more about the different markings and increments. I think it's every eighth of an inch if I'm not mistaken, every quarter of an inch, and then the whites are every eighth of an inch, I think. Um, no. I can't remember, I'm not gonna lie. You have to count them. So, <laughs> they're your quarter, half an inch, quarter. Yes, yeah, so they're every quarter. Your blacks are every quarter of an inch. So then is eighth of an inch bigger? <laughs> they're slightly smaller, aren't they? Slightly bigger line, slightly bigger lines in the black. So you get half, and then there's a quarter as well. And then the others are eighth of an inch, yes. Brilliant. Um, had I said, I sit at home and count them. The great thing about, as I say, Creative Grid though, is that they, they do that hard work for you. They do that maths, don't they? Throughout, you can see that markings all the way along. Um, so turnaround feature, once again, six, six and a half, where you've got your half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and your six and a half by 24 and a half in length. Spin it around and you've got your full inch increments, of all of your quarter of an inch uh, markings again frosted around the perimeter of your ruler. And then I believe that's half an inch as well, or a full inch maybe. I'll have to measure it. Um, plus your non-slip grip all of your key markings all the way through the ruler. And what I like about this one is that you can full, cut your full half meter width, your quilting weight width using this ruler for just £23.99. This is one, this in the stripology, if you're starting out completely and you're not thinking about buying stripology rulers yet, I would get a mat, good mat, good rotary cutter and this ruler. This one is gonna do a lot of your cutting a lot of your cutting for £23.99. I'm sorry, this is a real pit stop on cre uh, Creative Grid as we are very limited on time this morning. But there's so many brilliant demos online, as I say, and we often talk about these in quite depth. This is a ruler that I've talked about in lots of depth in the past. It is your 60 degree non-slip finished eight inch triangle. Now I thought at the start, well I can cut eight inch triangles using that, but actually no, you can cut so much more than that. You can cut one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six, seven, eight, up to eight inch. But you've also got again, your quarter of an inch, your three quarters of an inch, your half an inch markings throughout. The little top already cut off so you don't need to worry about doggies and the design of quilters in mind, all these little things that are so, so useful. With this ruler, you can create things like this, pinwheel styles, all of your triangles together to create big hexes like that. Working with different fabrics is gonna be so much fun. Uh, again, with the, the toucan fabric, it's one of my favorites. Putting them all together to create like sort of like a, a, a pinwheel style, which looks so gorgeous. 
I then made this, which is uh, a magic lantern block, using the same ruler, cutting them into strips, flipping them around, stitching together really quickly, really easily. And that is just one block which could be made into a quill or all sorts. There's loads that you can do, again, with this ruler. I found plenty of demonstrations online. Really recommend that you do so as well. Even this is a, a, a sort of like a border on a quill. Would look so nice, wouldn't it? Okay. That's your 60 degree triangle. I've also got the biggest square I have. Oh, nice. I don't think I've seen this. It is huge. You're talking about backings. Maybe you're cutting, you know, lovely big squares for the back of your quilt, big blocks of colour. Look at how accurate this is going to be. You've got, again, lots of markings. Uh, you've got these really, really clear central line so if you're lining that up in the middle of a block you could cut really quickly maybe you're making floor cushions or backs of cushions one big go done because you can layer up of course you can cut as much fabric as you're happy with with your ruler uh, with your uh, with your rotary cutter whatever you feel sort of safe with i know that john con morgan likes to go through about eight layers at a time it's like as speedy as i possibly can with this, it's going to be really, really quick and very, very accurate at £49.99. Do store them flat. They also have little tags, uh, like little holes at the top where you can hang them up on the back of the wall. I know a lot of people do that. But especially the larger rulers, I'd probably store them flat under a, under a desk or under, you know, somewhere flat. <laughs> I was going to say in the bottom of a drawer, but actually I still would, I wouldn't be... Um, I wouldn't want to put, be putting things on top of them. Under the bed, that's a good way, yeah. That's somewhere flat too, thank you. <laughs> Playing the game, name things that are flat where we can store. <sighs> Under the sofa. <laughs> Let's do the smallest square ruler. Oh no, I've got this one and this, oh yes I have, I've got the smallest square ruler. This is so cute. If you are doing sort of fussy cutting, I like the fact that you can see exactly what it is that you're looking at through here. You can match it up. You could do your half square triangles probably with this, couldn't you? What's that? £14.99. pence. It's absolutely cute. Really dinky. Oh, there's again so much that you can do with this. Please don't just think of it oh, as a little square. There is a lot that you're still going to be able to do with it. Have a look online. I'm literally running out of time. Um, tomorrow's show, by the way, I've got to remind you, it's an extra long show. There are five hours. Five hours. There's two menus. Longest show we've ever done at Sewing Street. I'm so excited for John. He's got an amazing day lined up for you. Let's have a look at what you've got in store tomorrow. 8 a.m. Happy birthday, John, with John's favourite fabrics. It's going to be brilliant. He's picked that show out especially for you. You know there's going to be lots of fabulous fabrics, so stay tuned for that. 9am, it's the quilt we've all been waiting for. Have you seen the adverts? The Tula Pink Starburst Quilt with Sally Stevens. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you haven't seen it, please have a, a, a watch of the, um, the advert, adverts that are out today or have a look on social media, you'll be able to see that. At 10 o'clock, it's Block of the Week, Block of the Week. I don't know why I'm singing it to blankety blank, uh, but it's it's block eight already. Eight. Oh my word, we are flying through these blocks. Uh, I can't wait to see everybody's on Facebook. Eight, uh, 10 o'clock, that's your block of the week. 11 o'clock, it's Kat's favourite machine. Her machine that she owns is up at 11. It's the Elna Lotus sewing machine. And then 12 o'clock, the South Africa attic windows. Again, picked by John. Picked by John, his whole birthday extravaganza is going to be brilliant. Please do send in your messages for him via our Facebook page. And if you haven't yet done the make of the week, have, do make sure you post your, your, your pieces on the, uh, the fan page as I'm going to have a look this afternoon and pick my faves. Um, the Liberty Caddy, just so you're aware, this colourway is now done. The bundle is caddy number two, isn't it? The only way of getting the Liberty Caddy is in this colourway. It's gorgeous. 
it's absolutely gorgeous. You get your pattern, you get your Liberty uh, half meters, you also get your webbing and you get your bosal with your lovely pattern from Kerry. Watch the show back on YouTube uh, if you missed it earlier on. We played it today at nine o'clock, first hour in. Um, do make sure you watch it back. It's been so, so lovely to be with you today. We've had a brilliant show, haven't we? Is there anything else you want me to mention, Hannah? Oh, she wants everybody to enjoy the weather today. Don't worry, your weather warning. Do remember your sun cream. If you've got hay fever, she says, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> Hope you're all uh, enjoying the sun anyway. Thank you so, so much for your company. And thanks to our gorgeous Kerry for our amazing demonstration as well. Happy birthday, John Cole Morgan. Can't wait to celebrate your birthday with you tomorrow. Stay safe. Uh, go and have a sunbathe and we'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock.